what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy for everybody podcast, man. Episode 67. We got the homie, man. Kel Jordan. Yeah. AKA motherfucking Big Henny. We were just talking about that motherfucking Henny scene and shit, dog. What's good with you, bro? Man, everything is everything. We out here. We Hell wilding. Yeah. We doing everything. Hell yeah, man. Before we get started, man, we got a motherfucking ad, man. Another sponsor in the building, dog. <laughs> uh, do you find yourself smoking blunt at the blunt? Going to the dispensary every day? Everywhere you go, it can smell you a mile away. Well, my friend, you a classic pothead. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, man, the classic pothead merch. You see me with the little shirt, man, real quick, man. Holla at him, man. Get you some merch. Get you some motherfucking masks, hoodies, t-shirts, all that shit, man. Classic pothead. If you feel you can smoke, shit, fuck with that nigga on his podcast, man. Cannabis Anibus, man. No, Cannabis Analyst. <laughs> And fuck with the man on that shit. And then if you want to go ahead and get some merch, man, it's the it's the classic pothead dot mount M A L C. Go ahead, get with him, get you some merch. See if you can change that nigga on some smoking shit. Come on the show. That's the motherfucking sponsor for the day, man. Classic pothead. Shout out. <laughs> well, shit, man. We always start off every podcast, bro, with a salumi while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta get somebody who ain't the normal. It's always easy to be like mom, dad, brother, sister, I know, I, yeah, and I, your kids and shit. So you got somebody, you know what I'm saying, outside that shit you can go ahead and give a salute to? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Can I can I give a shout out to the city though? Hell yeah, go ahead. All yeah. right. Cuz cuz all right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm going to give a shout out to Michigan. Right, I'm going to give out the whole state. Dude. We we've been doing good. We've been on the come up lately. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Everything been smooth. I know the summer about to be crazy. Nigga. You <laughs> <laughs> and look like, but, but, but as far as like Michigan, I mean, like the business owners, everybody on the come up like that, like yeah, for sure. everybody, shit. everybody banding together. I've been seeing a lot of unity lately. So Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Even on the music tip, I've been seeing that shit, dog. Yeah. Like, I've been ain't beefing and shit. Niggas who was beefing, doing music together. I've been doing a lot of features lately. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm My beefing. niggas in HP, uh, East side, west side, everybody. I've been fucking with shit. everybody lately. That's the only way that shit going to work though, dog. As far as like, that's why niggas in Atlanta get so much of a look. And Cali and shit like that, because them niggas be banding together, working together, and moving together and shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. My shit gonna be, so I, st- I keep it on the music tip, my shit gonna be my uh, my dog, Easy Fresh, man. Uh, that nigga been on like, shit, how many episodes? Three episodes, dog? Last episode that nigga was on, that's when Kobe had died and shit, dog. Mm. So shit, I had to hold it together, almost cry in front of that nigga, dog. Man. <laughs> for real. I found out when I was in Best Buy buying a computer, I'm like. You thought shit was fake, didn't you? I was like, man, fuck this, dog. Duh. Hey, hey, everybody know, like, I will argue a nigga down to the hell about Kobe, dog. Duh. Like, for real. Nigga, for real. Because, hey. nigga, for real, we about the same age, nigga. Like, that's, like, that. We you know about Jordan, but you watched Kobe, nigga. Like, I watched both, actually. Yeah. But she Kobe, now, Jordan is the, to me, Jordan is the best, but Kobe is my favorite player, though. You oh, yeah, for sure. That's what that's my nigga, dog. That uh, was somebody. Peace. He was a copycat. Like you can't copy championships. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. What you saying? For real. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to my nigga. Uh, my nigga, Easy Fresh, dog. Even making moves and shit, dog. Got a drop from Fat Joe and his shit, man. Got music been back and forth to Atlanta, like a motherfucker Miami and shit. That nigga making moves. I be jealous of that nigga sometimes. Watching his Instagram pictures, like damn. Fuck, I'm not. What the fuck, I'm doing wrong, nigga. <laughs> like, shit, you ain't doing nothing wrong. You, look, it's up there. Hell yeah, it's, it's gonna move. It's gonna move when it's supposed to move. Shit, for real. So shit, man, we got that out the way, dog. As far as like, I don't move right into the music, dog. I like to know about niggas come up and all that shit, dog. Oh yeah, come on. You know with what I'm saying? So how was it, uh, growing up? Where you from? East, West? I'm from the East Side. Yeah, who's Harper in the crib? Side. Oh, you need that? Yep, yep. I showed up. Hell yeah. East Side, Harper Side, up the street. Yeah. Um, Bangerville, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. One of the originals. That's why I had to I had to make my own shirt today, man. Yeah. <laughs> so shit, who was in the, who was who was in the crib? Um, my mom was in the crib. Yeah. She work working, yeah. working her ass off. So sure, always. I definitely gotta take care of mom. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, nigga oh, struck a little bit. <laughs> I never, I never used one of these things. I don't know what the fuck going on. You got spreading legs out, nigga. Spreading legs up. All right, bet. Hell yeah. So you said mom was working all the time. Hell yeah, mom, mom was working hard. So yeah. you know, all the time. Grandma hustling. Hell yeah. My dad hustling. He got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man, hold on. <laughs> I ain't even giving y'all the whole story. Hold on. Go ahead, dog. <laughs> My grandma was hustling. She got locked up from when I was in the seventh grade to when I graduated high school. Your grandma. My grandma. Okay. <laughs> My family is full of hustlers. Understand this. Like we yeah. that's who I got it from. Okay. My brother took me under his wing, showed me, you know what I'm saying, the ropes. Yeah. 
But um, on a positive <laughs> note, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> grandma then, hustling. What? Look, Shout out to grandma. The whole the Making whole family. Happen. My mama worked her ass off. She ain't want to get in the street. So yeah, my my pops and my grandma used to. What they was like? What they do? Was this your pops' mom? No, my my mama. Mom. So was they, was they like hustling together? No. Okay. Okay. I was <laughs> but I mean, you know what I'm saying? She. Yeah. They they did the same yeah, thing yeah, just yeah, about, yeah. but uh -huh. he he did it on an international level and she did it here. Yeah. Long, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. My 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 nana, my grandma on my dad's side, she used to move with him. So yeah. both my grandmas and uncles, <laughs> like thugs, you gotta understand, like <laughs> look, I even wrote I even wrote a bar. I said both my well, I say uh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said both my grannies in the streets, two Griselda Blancas. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah, they yeah. both was doing that shit. Duh, that's crazy. I, this is mm -hmm. the first person on the show who told me his grandma was in the streets hustling. Man, duh. Shit, that, real life, real life. Long bloodline of hustling. That's Hell yeah. Right. Hell yeah. So you say you, uh, how many brothers and sisters, man? I got three older brothers on my yeah. mama's side, three younger brothers on my dad's side. Yeah. Two younger sisters. Yeah. Me and my sister that's under me share the same dad. My three older brothers said share the same dad. My sister got her own. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, shit. Usually, like you said, you know, what I'm saying it was it was in the family and shit, dog. You know, what I'm saying and a lot of times you said mom's working all the time, dad hustling, so that leave you in the streets by yourself and shit, dog, to learn. Not really. The streets. I mean, we we had we had good leadership in the in the streets, like yeah. you know, what I'm saying the OGs they took care of us, like yeah. so. My mama, my my brothers, both my older brothers, they. They started me in this, the yeah. THB Headbangers, uh, yeah. True Headbangers. Yeah. So not only we like, we're not just a gang, we a brotherhood. So yeah. the whole hood watched out for yeah. us. Because niggas, when, when you hear about gangs, you think automatically like some uh, some bad shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes like gangs was originated on brotherhood and, yeah. and, and representing the, the streets and, and shit like that. And building the, the community and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So you would say it was, it, was, it was positive. It wasn't all negative for you with no, that shit. No, not at all. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, it was it was all positive for real. Yeah, so yeah, I ain't, yeah. I ain't gonna put no negative shit on. I mean, me. even some shit that probably helped you learn from that shit as a you know what I'm saying as an adult and shit. So now you a better man from that shit. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. This nigga say, Dad, I'm still tripping about your grandma, dog. <laughs> hey, look, hey, anybody around my neighborhood know my grand my grandma used to supply everybody around that. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's clothes or whatever the fuck. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Hell no. What about say? So you say you uh you from the east. But we was talking and shit, you, you say HP and all that shit, dog. So, like, I'm from the East. I went the, I got kicked out of Denby my first week. Yeah, first week, though. What the fuck you do, dog? Gang fight. Okay. <laughs> Somebody ain't like the color I was wearing. So, mm -hmm. we was on, we was on the, we was about to, I was just starting that Voltex shit. Yeah. Nigga trying to pull me off the bus. The whole nigga... I, you know, I got niggas all around this bitch, so yeah. down there the whole bus came out and beat his ass. <laughs> yeah. But the bus driver banged it on me. I was like, that nigga just grabbed me. Yeah, I stopped the sure. nigga off the off the bus. Yeah. Everybody started rushing him. Yeah. So I ended up going to Southeastern. All went right. to Southeastern. What? Shit, I went to Southeastern. Like, what was that? Cause I graduated Southeastern. I went there from uh, 0204. I graduated. Well, I, I graduated from Northern. Though. Yeah. So. I went to Southeastern right before I went to Northern. I went for like two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you did a little, a little, little time in there. I, I think I don't know, <laughs> man. Look, I I ain't been in school like when I was yeah, like yeah. when I was in school. I was focused. Like yeah. when I when I was in class, I was focused. Mm -hmm. That's why the teacher saw my potential and shit. Yeah. But like when I wasn't there, I wasn't there. Oh, yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. I go in that motherfucker, go to one class, like you know what? Fuck that. I'm out. There's so much <laughs> money in this motherfucking yeah, streets. Hell yeah. Shit. Duh. So then you say you left SC, went to Northern. Went to Northern. That's so, when that's when I got back on track. Now I know how to move. Yeah. Um, I was selling weed in Northern, yeah. but I worked at the liquor store. Okay. I worked at the liquor store, uh, Oakwood and Kenilworth. No, Oakwood and Westminster. Okay. So I was working, getting good grades. Yeah. So I knew how to, you know I know how, how to um adapt. A balance and shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. so I knew how to um go from the street shit to the school shit. Yeah. I graduated with a 3.2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was, I was a hothead. <laughs> like, <laughs> like when I say every day, red. I wore red. Everything. All the drawers came out. I got them bitches every week. Yeah, I yeah. never wore the same clothes. Like none of that shit. Mm -hmm. Like it was, yeah. it was one of them. Like, like what does this nigga do? Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but but growing up like. My niggas on the north end, they showed me how to move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, well, my, my brother showed me first. Okay. But 
then I start yeah, expanding start, yeah, with yeah, other yeah. niggas. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, hell yeah. So um, they taught me the streets more. Yeah. And hell, man, I made more money than a lot of older niggas for real. Hell yeah, that's crazy. No, now so, that I think about it, like you think about it, like nigga, I had thousands and thousands of dollars. No, but you say you know you seen you seen you seen your pops, you seen your grandmas and shit doing it. Like was there ever a time like I not look, I never seen them. They was, or you knew about it. Yeah, yeah. I knew was about it. Was there a time like would you like? Like me, it, it was people I seen around me get money and stuff. I always thought about it, but just being real with you, I was too scared to even even try this shit. Cause I always thought about what could happen if I got fucked up, got caught. Would you Would you ever like nervous about doing this shit, or you just like, man, shit, I'm jumping in? I jumped in. Yeah, hell right yeah, I the jumped in. And shit, fuck. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Never, you never like. I, I'd be excited about making money, so I'd be like, anything I do, I'd be like, yeah. oh yeah, fuck that, I could do that shit. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I'm yeah. competitive too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm competitive as fuck. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm about to do that shit. Like yeah. that shit look good. I want that shit too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that nigga driving the Benz. I'm about to get a Benz plus, bitch. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I mean this motherfucker, Look, dog. I was, I swear to God, I was one of the only young niggas in a Hummer. I had, I was 18, 19 in the Hummer. Yeah. On the North End. Yeah. Um, well, since I was so young and I ain't had no credit and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. they had to co sign it. You know how that shit go. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. But yeah, that, man, I was doing it. Like, no, how you be feeling about niggas who be like on some fake gang shit, dog? It's disrespectful, yeah. for real, because they use it for the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Like, like they big homies don't tell them like how to move. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. From day one, like you got to be humble. Yeah. Like that's why I get along with other gangs. Like, for sure. you know what I'm saying? It's like it's all love. Like we we a unity. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go by your your lit, like you if you under the five, you under the six, whatever. Yeah. You go by that lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of it is like respect, unity, like shit like that. Sure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Family, like. Yeah, yeah. We don't, ain't nothing that, ain't nothing talking about kill that nigga in that game. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. he wearing this. Yeah. Fuck him. Because all about respect. It's not like, that. As long as you yeah. don't disrespect, you know what I'm saying? You all yeah. good. Because yeah. more, like it really started off as like a territory thing. Yeah, hell yeah. Like motherfuckers see me walking with a red flag and be like, nigga, where you from? Yeah. Like nigga, I, you know, I'm such and such. Uh, 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 like, you know. Yeah. But y'all don't get all riled up like niggas be having too much animosity for no what, reason. What you be saying to niggas who be like, man, you know what I'm saying? I, be, I would listen to, I think, Drink Champs or some shit, listening to like Ice T or whatever. What you say to niggas who be like, dog, it originated in Cali and everything else outside of that shit is not real? I mean, what can you say? Yeah. But, I mean, you gotta, you gotta prove yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so we, we're what you call outlaws. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So instead of the right, Side, we wear our flags on the left. Yeah. We not we wasn't originally bloods, but we affiliated. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. But we've been in it for over thirty years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So So ain't no just no overnight shit like right. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this, like everybody in Detroit know about us. Everybody in Chicago, yeah. Cali nah, uh like we we actually all yeah, around, yeah. but it's just like this is the motherland. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when yeah. I say I'm from Harperside, Bangerville, yeah. Everybody know where that's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah. really in the streets. Yeah, like, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, because I, I be, I'm glad you talk about that shit. Because some niggas be like, man, I don't want to talk about that shit. Whatever, we, whatever. We right up the street. Yeah, like, hell yeah. I'm Harper and Connors, yeah. right there. Hell yeah, I already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. Uh, my, my grandma be on the same block, nigga, all my life. So I heard about all the stories, everything, man, and look, shit, dog. The hundred blocks. <laughs> that's that's, that's where we we're, that's where we originated. I know from. for sure he Mama know. Made. Hell yeah. yeah, I know for sure he know for sure for sure. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, so that shit in the long run, you can say that shit helped you. You know what I'm saying? Become, yeah. become who you is and shit. Yeah, everything yeah. like like I learned from other people's mistakes. Yeah, so, for sure, always. So not to get caught up as much. Like I never got caught doing the same shit twice. Yeah, hell yeah. Then so you I just know how to shit. yeah, yeah you gotta learn how to move yeah. better. Hell yeah, dog. So shit, man. You you say you from the east, moved to north north end. What was the difference with that shit, dog? Like, was it different? Like, you could tell the difference or what's the same? Yeah, cause, Cause we joke look, a lot with like with the chicks, with the niggas. Like, how is the difference from East and West? Um, <laughs> Cause I always say like, nigga, to me, I always say West Side chicks was like bad. That I adapted bad. to the West Side chicks, dog, they more than bad. East Side chicks, yeah. dog. And then like we always say, West Side dudes is try to be too flashy and shit. East Side chicks is kind of low just, key. It's just like that. Yeah, and and I give it to the like I East Side some money getting motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Not saying the West Side people don't get money because I got money with a lot of motherfuckers on the West. Yeah. But like, 
East side, they more they care about their appearance. Like okay. for real, we we on the east side, we hustle. Yeah, I mix both of them bitches up because I ain't about to be no, I ain't shit, <laughs> nigga. I like fashion. You feel for me? For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. But um, like as far as the females, <laughs> I say I say the east side chicks more rowdy. Yeah, for sure. But I see them not like nowadays they become more feminine and all that shit. Yeah, that, like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But they, cause west side be like, they wild. They be like some uh some uh. They be covered up hoes and shit. Like you won't be, you can tell. Like they're like, oh, you, you be in the house, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I was just at the store, dog, on the way here, dog. East side chick coming that bitch that got the bonnet on. Like, come on, bro. Take hey, that that's all. Up. Hey, that's all around. Now nah, look, dog. I just saw, I saw a female on the west side wearing pajamas to the store. I can't fuck with no, I can't fuck with a chick like that, dog. Like, cause that's all, man. You gotta tell me that your pussy probably stunk. <laughs> 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 like you might as well wear a motherfucking robe too, man. God yeah. damn, like, what's yeah. going on? Hell yeah! So you say you graduated? Was your uh, class the last class before that bitch got shut down, closed down? Uh, I think 08 was the last class. Okay, I graduated 06. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cause that's when y'all had what's the name of that motherfucker, the coach, uh, Coach Brooks. Yeah, shout Coach Brooks. Hey, hey Coach Brooks was my dog. Hell yeah, he just. I saw the guy every day. He asked me like, "So who you beat up today?" <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and I swear to God, his class is like the only class I got an eight plus in. Yeah, like, that shit was crazy. Dog. And then he had my, what's my man name? His assistant coach, dog. Cause Tyson. He was at, yeah, he was that king clowning with. Like they used to get them niggas. To, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but the paddle and shit, dog. Like, remember Malcolm was fucking up. Like, man, oh, I yeah, they look. The they did not play that shit. Hell yeah, niggas. Coach Tyson be having the motherfucking uh the uh, roll stumpers on, nigga. Like, <laughs> man, they tried to they tried to get me on the team. Like I couldn't I couldn't play because I got screws in my knee and shit. Yeah. Catwalking bites back in the day. Fuck your shit up. Fuck that. Damn. Hit a pie hole, that bitch got stuck. I jumped off the bike, tried to land, that bitch just Damn. Under me. Ripped your shit up. Damn. Damn. See the fuck that part cause the shit could have been fixed. Yeah. I got up and walked off the scene. Yeah. <laughs> like a dummy. Look, it went and went to sleep. Look, <laughs> went home, went to sleep. Actually, we was in the trap. We was on Everson. Yeah. My brother know this shit was funny as hell. I went to sleep. I woke up, my motherfucking knee about that big. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I called my brother, like, why? <laughs> like, nigga, I can't move. Yeah. That nigga came in, he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Had my mama up. come over there, all that shit. Like, what you doing over there? And then, and then, and then. They carried me to the motherfucking car. Yeah. Took me to St. John and shit. Yeah. Man. <laughs> This yeah, shit was no. terrible. Cause, uh, the crazy thing, dog, because I know, like I said uh, off camera, I said I know his brother. Good, wow. I'm like, dog, you look familiar as fuck. Like, nigga, you look like somebody. Yeah. Dog, and then I showed my wife, like, look, this is the dude I'm interviewing. He related to aunt, his aunt brother. Like, dog, he look like the same person. He just got a bigger beard than him, dog. <laughs> shit, look, he told me, to, look, he, he the reason I grew my beard. Because, I, you know, I, I used to, in high school, I, I had all this shit. I yeah. had all this shit in high school. He could have, I could have had yeah. fucking beard. Yeah. But I had the chin strap. I look back at that shit, I'm like, that shit looks stupid <laughs> as fuck, dog. I had that bitch too, dog. <laughs> big ass, big ass t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, big ass jeans, nigga. Man, I think I was what? 140, nigga, wearing 38 jeans. Dog, dog that shit was teeth. terrible. I look at that shit, I'm like. Dog, but that was the shit. And then, nigga, you could never see your shoes because the fucking pants was going over them bitches. Man. See, I wore, I wore a size, I wore a size 12. Yeah. I wore a size 12 my whole high school. Damn. Nigga, shit. My, like, nigga, my shit was a fucking nine, nigga. I'm still, my son about to be in my size, dog. That shit crazy that nigga hooping in my shoes dog mm. this nigga 14 like what the fuck man hey hell yeah but no these niggas look, look alike act like everything dog. shout out to my nigga aunt dog nigga cool nigga dog mm -hmm. don't, he, got, he got a studio at the crib right oh the yeah oh yeah hell yeah so shit man, yo. so shit then you got brothers right there so i know y'all scrapping all the time make each other tougher at the crib or y'all me, me and my brother who right over me that we used to scrap mm -hmm. so like ain't no other nigga beat me up yeah that was the only <laughs> nigga that ever you know what I'm saying? Gave it to me like that. Yeah. So like any other any other nigga in the street or whatever. The, my first my first real fight was in. It's funny as hell. I still remember the nigga name too. My first real fight was at the lunch table with this nigga named Alan Purified. Dog. Purified. Duh. It's funny as hell. Look, it's, he probably tapping it like we already chopped it up. Like you know what I'm saying? Years later, that shit was crazy. Yeah. That nigga was like, he tried to grab my chocolate milk. <laughs> Okay. Threw that shit on my shirt. Duh. I walked around the motherfucking lunch table and was like, pop, pop, pop. And Duh. started stomping that nigga in the motherfucking, man. Duh. I put that nigga under the lunch table, dog. I was mad as hell. Dog. I think everybody, my first fight, dog. Because I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't, get to, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't get to too many fights, dog. I was always that little ass cool nigga and shit, dog. But I remember this nigga named Lionel Sanders, dog. 
This nigga fucked me, dog. He got mad because I kept calling nigga Colonel Sanders and shit, dog. <laughs> I kept calling nigga Colonel, dog. This nigga was taller than me and everything. So this nigga was like, uh, started going off of my grandma and shit. So you know, back in the day, nigga, you you don't talk about my grandma and shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. So nigga, I'm like, dog, I'm gonna beat this nigga up after the class, dog. So nigga, everybody <laughs> got wins of that shit, like, nigga, where y'all fighting at? Fighting the bathroom. I'm like, hell no, because this nigga bust my head on the motherfucker toilet, anything. Nigga, I ain't doing that shit, dog. So mm -hmm. I waited until we got to Mr. Anderson class, dog. Grabbed it, and then he was tall, so I grabbed the nigga by his collar, brought the nigga to my level, started just beating this nigga ass, dog. That should be the funnest. Afterwards, because I was so little, it's like, dog, wish I could fight. We didn't know that shit. Like, I, I'm talking about, nigga, I was little as fuck, dog. Like, skinny as hell, little as hell, had a fucking braid in the back, nigga. Man, <laughs> like, not what? the braid in the yo, back. Yeah. Well, I remember that shit, shit the Golden Town <laughs> shit. Hold <laughs> on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whoop Colonel ass, dog. Like, dog. damn, I wonder what happened to Colonel, dog. I remember I had to tell. That shit was funny as hell. Nigga, my mom, nigga, gave me that shit, dog, after I had cut my hair. And then my brother pulled that bitch out, nigga. We was wrestling, nigga. Nigga, I pent that nigga, and nigga pulled my shit out, dog. It's funny, I had my brother cut my shit. Man. My mama whooped our ass, dog. <laughs> my, no. mama, my mama, she ain't play that shit back in the day. She yeah. was soft on the girls. Yeah. Nigga, when it came to us, yeah. like, this is, why, this is why we had our head on straight, because she she used to chastise us, like, oh, you come in late, boom. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you fucking up, boom. Like, <laughs> nigga, I was, <laughs> fuck the belt. Duh. Like, See, that's why you used to whooping niggas ass on the outside. You had brothers, you mama, man, nigga. Fuck the belt. Them fists used to oh, be yeah. lethal. Hell she used yeah. to be in that bitch like, oh, like <laughs> all shoulder. We be curled, we be curled up in the corner like, oh shit, yeah, what you doing? Because she know you, she got boys, so she can't be soft. Got yeah, rough I, all I, up. I respect. Look, I respect that. Hell no, sure. that shit funny as hell, dog. So you talking about you graduated <laughs> high school, dog? Would you was was college ever a thought in, in, on your mind? I went to college. Okay, where I you went go? to college. WC three. Okay, I graduated. Okay. Oh, you graduated oh, college? Oh shit! I graduated you high graduated. school. 06, graduated college. Oh nine. That's oh, what. I I mean I, I post the pictures, but people still don't believe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga graduated. I went I went because I went in a program. It was a it was actually like a green jobs program, but we still had classes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a bunch of certifications, certificates, sure. licenses. Uh, got my degree. Yeah. Um. What you what you was going to school for? Toxicology. Okay. All yeah. right. Hell no. So, I think yeah. doing shit though. I'm thinking that you about to say nigga. Fuck. I wasn't doing mm -hmm. shit in high school. Look. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was on my shit. Hell yeah. Gotta be. Gotta be. Cause I was about to. Hell, I I was about to I was about to drop out after Southeastern. Like I wasn't about to go back to school. Yeah. But uh. Shit, my credits were so low too. But I ended up going to night school. Yeah. So, I graduated 06. I was supposed to graduate 05. Okay. But I still graduated with yeah, a 3.2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? So, Hell I yeah. mean, oh shit. Oh no, yeah, no, I'm shit. I, <laughs> I look, my mom in the tap in. What up, man? No, this is my last This is my last sip. I got to work tonight. So, shit, dog. Um, my, just to go back, you, you said uh, shout out to mom. Let's go back real quick. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody always get their motherfucking musical influences from their mom and dad. That's who they, 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 the first artist that they like is because of their parents. So, who were some people you was liking just based off your mom and dad as far as music, bro? LL Cool J was my first favorite rapper. Okay, hell yeah. My, hell. I'm Bad is still my favorite song. Yeah, hell yeah. He's going Today. In. Hell yeah. Like, Young nigga, too. I got um, 16, too. Like, I don't know. Like, my, my whole music selection of people I like is weird. Yeah. Because it jumped from lyrical artists to trap yeah. to. Tyler the Creator, like yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like, hell yeah. I pulled something out of everybody. Yeah. So I can go from, I like, of course, Jay Z, Nas, yeah. uh, Biggie, yeah. Tupac. Who, who, give me your top five outside of him, dog. I don't, I don't got no top five. All I right. can't do that. Can't. I can't do that. Because <laughs> I put everybody in categories. Like, yeah, you know okay, what I'm saying? Dog, I, I was just watching an interview. With, I think it was Shaq. He was like, he got East Coast top five, West Coast, oh. down South. Like, See, it's like that. Like, but yeah, like, yeah. I. It's so like it's it's so much that go into that because yeah. it's so many talented motherfuckers. Hell like yeah, hell yeah. I go from Big L, Big Pun, Jay Z, Biggie, uh, Kendrick Lamar, J Cole. Now that's one person I ain't gonna lie, dog. I'm not even gonna lie to you, dog. I never tapped into uh Big Pun for real. Man, he I was, got to lyrically that nigga was an assassin, dog. Yeah, like yeah. the way he put words together and flip them. Yeah. Like like a lot of people from Detroit don't like Eminem. Yeah, I like the word. Smith, like yeah, yeah, he yeah. he crazy with the words. Mm -hmm. I had a couple people on here like, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be lying to you if I say I like Eminem in his early stages. 
I don't like. I ain't, I ain't really. I ain't gonna say I don't like him, but I ain't really rock with him. It's not the same. It's yeah. more collect, Cause commercialized. It's, now. it's like because I don't remember him rapping like this back then, like with the fast cadence, like you know what I'm saying. See, but I, my brothers grew up listening to Bone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah, Twister. Yeah. yeah Bone. So and, I'm I'm yeah, used Twister, to that. Yeah. 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 Nigga Twister be like, I'm nothing but the love. I saw my little blood glove. Like it was Duh. Twister was cold, dog. What was that uh Kamikaze? Yeah, that man. shit dog was hard. My All brother shot my brother too, dog. He put me on that shit. Twister, uh, do or die with the Pope Pimpin'. Like I was just talking about how was he don't get the respect he supposed to get, dog. That's one that's my nigga. He like he one of my top five probably underrated rappers is two chain. Man, I love two chain. Dog, two chain cause the that's thing what I'm saying, like I can go for Yeah, he can really spit, bro. Like, but niggas be thinking his shit dumped down, but when you listen to that nigga, he really be saying something, dog. Like that nigga really be rapping some shit, but nigga man, just nigga be swagged on out, two dog, man. That's my nigga, dog. Especially my favorite song with that nigga is that uh, I'm riding around, I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. That shit with him and Ti, nigga, like that true religion <laughs> mistake was hard. Nigga. Shout, shout out the drummer boy for making that beat. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, he did. He did. That nigga did a lot, dog. I supposed yeah. to go that bitch, dog. I got lazy, dog. Man. <laughs> I rock that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, dog. We gonna I make, for sure rock that bitch. Yeah, we gonna get to that shit. Uh, but give me an album or a song that every time you listen to that motherfucker, it take you back to a to a time of your life, like clear as day. Oh shit! Let like, me see. Like clear as day. Like damn, I, I remember where it's, I was at. Where it's I had either on. I want to say it's either between Hot Boys or No Limit. Yeah, we had a lot of Hot Boys and No Limit moments. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold on. Oh, um, yeah, that that's when they do a versus battle. What? <laughs> 400 Degrees, like, hold on, let me see. Because <laughs> 400 Degrees is like my album, one of my albums I could think of a time. Like, I just remember, like, my mom and my, uh, and her boyfriend at the time, was they, they just had, we moved in. So, nigga, her, his son was like two years older than me, dog. So, nigga, I'm talking about, I used to dress so trash, nigga, like, everything about me was trash. But mm -hmm. nigga changed my whole little thing of, like, I will listen to trash ass music. So, like, the first real, like, music I listened to, like, was was at Juvenile 400. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, who's this, dog? Like, it's Juvenile. Man. So I'm listening to that shit, dog, and that just made me just go on this. On this uh, uh, I start buying all cash money shit, dog. Like, yeah. all cash money shit went back, buying old Juvenile, old BG, nigga, like, all that shit, dog. Yeah, so I want to say cash money, guerrilla warfare. Oh, shit, yeah. Like, that shit got us in the streets. Like, we... We was on hot. We was on some hot boy shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. we used to go up to Bardock Park, snatch niggas off their bikes, <laughs> all that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> duh, duh. listen, because we look even even even, t <laughs> even when I was growing up, I never I never stole from anybody in the hood. Yeah, like yeah. always outside. Of, yeah, like nigga, that nigga got it. He ain't gonna miss it. Fuck it. <laughs> Get that nigga car. We out. Like you know what I'm saying. Duh. It's like Robin Hood. We steal from the rich and give to the poor and Hell shit. Yeah. And you already know you go ball though. You about to catch a nigga with a good bike. Man, though. what they had mongoose and all yeah. that shit. Nigga. Uh, Huffies. I'm. Oh yeah. You Man. walk this bitch. And we go to the motherfucking. Um. <laughs> we used to go to the bike shop right down. Well, I think it's closed now. But right down grad shit. Yo, I know you talking about. Yo. My mob yo. deep. Like we was like about twenty thirty deep on bikes. Duh. Took the bitches out there getting datings and all that shit. <laughs> Exchanging, look, we used to exchange bikes like, here, take this, uh, give us a credit for it, boom. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want Duh. the rims. That shit funny. Man, that shit was Duh, crazy. No, but niggas, like, that's why I always talk to my son, like, Kids don't even ride bikes like that, bro. Like we used to be, no, in the, like, said, like that. niggas be deep as hell on bikes going, nigga going a hoop, going with chick house, going wherever, dog. Man, as a as a unit yeah. though, like nigga, <laughs> like hey, you know, Keisha stay over there. Like niggas about to go deep as hell with Keisha crib. You like, know what I hate nowadays? <laughs> nowadays, kids, not even kids, older people too. Yeah, a lot of people don't value friendships like they used to. Oh hell, no. like hell no. Like we used to be, you cut up, uh. The, the lady across the street will whip your ass. Yeah, get you yeah. get you together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nowadays, don't touch my fucking kid. Yeah, like you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's it's, it's be different. Dog, you say that's funny. You say that shit, dog, about valuing fr friendship, dog. And my favorite, one of my favorite podcasts is the Joe Button podcast. Mm -hmm. And he was saying like, I guess they had like a little uh, dispute, or whatever, dog. He told the one of the co-hosts to stay at the crib and shit like that. So I guess you know what I'm saying because he seen it. They was on, on on air, kind of like beefing on air and shit. And you could tell the chemistry wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, when they got back, of course, they had to talk it out because it went like a month and a half without them being on together. So, he was like, dog, he like, my thing is with... One of the niggas told Joe Buttons, like, nigga, my thing with you is, nigga, is respect. Like, nigga, I, I didn't feel like it was no respect there and shit. And he was... Joe Buttons, like, nigga, I ain't got to respect you as my friend. Like, he's, he basically said he respect a stranger more than his friend because he don't always friend respect. Mm. He owe a stranger more respect than his friend. 
That's not it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, nigga, my thing is, I was gonna ask you, like, dog, as far as friendships and shit like that, like, a lot of times we don't know how, like, to tell your friend because you think that's soft, like, how you feel about some shit. If you don't like this or that, you just automatically just stop talking to them. Like, nigga, if, have there ever been a time that, you know what I'm saying, you had beef with a friend or not beef, but, like, some conflicts, but y'all wind up mending that shit and getting back together, like, man, with some cool I shit? I never, I don't, I don't beef out with nobody. Yeah. Not, not niggas in my circle. Yeah, I, see, I never had the no niggas, the niggas I grew up with is the niggas I'm fucking with now. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I got new friends, too, but, like, like yeah. the niggas I grew up with, we still we still hang tight. Hell yeah. Hell I got yeah. I got different groups of people that I hang with yeah, for different certain things, but yeah, like yeah, for sure. But for the most part, I don't lose friends. Yeah, hell like yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you if you remove yourself out of my life, that's on you. Yeah. But I'm still Yeah, I'm still me, yeah. Hell I yeah. never I never changed. Cause like, we talking about like and then like sometimes with friendship, sometimes y'all still be friends, but like <laughs> niggas get families. Niggas yeah. get different jobs So y'all might not be as close as y'all was But it's still Y'all still homies Yeah You know what I'm saying Look I never And I never I never fought nobody for that shit I'm like Like go ahead do your thing Whenever you can catch up yeah. Catch up Hell like, yeah Like you know what I'm saying I know how this shit go Yeah for sure Hell like, yeah Cause that's what Yep yep Even in a When you in the fast like I was selling drugs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I couldn't hang yeah, out like yeah, I wanted to. Yeah, some of your might not be doing that shit. So they understood what I was doing. Yeah. I brought some people with me. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? They they wasn't cut for that shit. Hell yeah, for so, sure. So, like... Hell yeah. Because shout out to my nigga, like you said, Jamar and my nigga uh, Reg. We was like, nigga, close Oh, uh, you talking about light skin Reg? Yeah, it's my nigga. That's like, nigga... Look, I, I did, look <laughs> Reg, I hung with... I fucked with Reg when we was in Garvey. Yeah, we went to Garvey first, then we went to Southeast. Yeah. Hell yeah! Now like I say Reg is my nigga. We got same birthday, nigga. We used to we, we used to get chicks by because niggas thought that we was related, dog. Like mm -hmm. that's our, that was our shit. So nigga, but but when you get older, back then nigga, we was tight every day all the time. But nigga, you get kids, so you got to spend time with kids. You got to work. I yeah. got a wife, nigga. So it's like I yeah. catch up while I can, but it ain't it ain't no diss to y'all. It's yeah. just nigga, I got so much shit I be doing. This damn flopping all over the place. No, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so rap, I value our friendship, but you also gotta know, nigga. Like I got a whole, I got a fucking four month old baby girl, four year old son, fourteen year old son, and a wife. Mm -hmm. So nigga, I gotta make sure I spend time with them, work the shit that I like doing. I coach this podcast shit. Yeah. So nigga, it be shit that you gotta yeah, do. You got many hats, and like, see, I, I'm, I'm actually about to start doing something now because I do it with my family now. Yeah. Because I said I told my family like we too. Separated, like I got a small family, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's extended now. But like yeah. I had a, we had a small family. We never got together. For sure. But now, every month I do something with yeah. the family, like Hell Sunday yeah. dinners. Yeah, yeah. Like or Keep every every month, I set out a date. Boom, we about to we about to do a talk. We just did a taco night. Yeah. For uh, March. Now I'm about to set something up for this Sunday coming yeah. up. Hell yeah. Well, shit, we ain't did shit in April. I didn't even... <laughs> no, no. Matter of fact, we did. We did. Easter, we did we did Easter, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I had to think about it, like, damn, we ain't did shit. <laughs> but no, so I'm gonna set I'm gonna set up something yeah. for May. But um I'm gonna do the same thing with my friends, like yeah. either once a month, like we gotta see each other. Yeah. Bring your kids, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, have a good time. Put put everybody money in, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Do all yeah. that shit. Got to, hell yeah, one day just fucking around and shit, dog. Because I be saying like this shit is too segregated, y'all. And it's too nigga, life too short too. Exactly. Nigga, we you losing be, people left and right. Man, you be out this bitch in a heartbeat. Man, bro. I done lost like what two, three people in the in the last month. Man. This shit crazy. Hell yeah. Man. Within the last two years, I want to say almost down there twenty. <laughs> Most of COVID, some of just niggas getting killed. Like yeah. like this shit crazy. Hell yeah, you never know, nigga. Like man, you that you just never know, dog. So I I try to make sure, like nigga, like man, like I'm around beef, niggas. I don't beef with niggas no more. Yeah. My brother got beef for me. You got it. You won. <laughs> yeah. You won. I got kids. Nigga, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't got shit to fight about. Hell yeah. Like you take you take food. I'm my kids. My then it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other that's, than that, that's it's the just one a thing. Beef. Like, dog, especially now. Like, how many kids you got? I got two. Boy, I got a son. Girl. I got a daughter and a son. See, that's my, the thing. Like, nigga, I got two boys. But now every day I'm I'm like I'm looking at my daughter now. I'm like, dog, like this. I, over all three of my kids, I'm gonna go to jail for them. Well, I'm looking at her like, dog, nigga, I, I, I killed a nigga. Like, even though she four months, I'm thinking about the future like a motherfucker, dog. Like, yeah. And then you got to be that representation of who she going to want to be with when she get older, too. Exactly. So you can't be on no dirt bad shit. I used to love being on dirt bad shit, but can't be on that shit now, dog. <laughs> I, man, you know? I, I was fucked up. <laughs> so For real, she, like, I ain't, I ain't know how to, all right, growing up, I didn't know how to treat women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had bad influence as far as, like, trying yeah. to watch my, my dad. Handle different women and yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I learned from that. Like mm -hmm. nigga, I'm about to juggle women. I don't give a fuck. I'm a player. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. 
So now, like, it's funny. It took me this long to actually like get it, get it. But that's how I be though, shit. Because both my relate, both my relationships with my kids, mothers, like, it was rocky, yeah, but yeah, it could have yeah. been better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I know I'm gonna take a bunch of fart in that because I misled them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the relationship wasn't right, so I just, you know, what I'm saying, I exited out the motherfucker yeah. because I know we weren't right for each other. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I, I grew, like, you know, what I'm saying, I grew. I was like, like. We what we doing? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. This ain't gonna work because you don't like what I'm doing. For sure. Hell My yeah. last relationship, she ain't like me rapping. Yeah. She ain't like the groupies. She ain't like me throwing parties. None yeah, of that do, shit. Yeah, I'm like, but this shit making me do. money. Yeah, hell yeah. For sure. <laughs> this shit Some making me money. Some people don't understand that shit, like nigga. This is what I gotta do. Like, like you met me doing this <laughs> shit, but why <laughs> is the problem? Now? And see, that was my problem, dog. Like. You you can't and you and vice versa you can't change the chick from you know, what she do like you might not like what she do but you can't change that and like I said I've been like before my wife right now I've been in two relationships major relationships I ain't gonna count the high school shit that was high school you know what I'm saying but you learn from that shit like we was just talking about this shit before you got here bro like you learn from that shit like it's never a regret I I, you, I took hey I did this I fucked up right here I fucked up in this mm -hmm. but then the next time I get to a relationship I ain't gonna do that shit you know what I'm saying yeah I I'm, start analyzing the fuck out my shit dog man. Like, Man, like this, what I could do better. Yeah, I, I take my girl on more trips. Boom, yeah. hell yeah, I'm gonna take, to. I'm gonna take her on dates. I'm gonna, For sure. you know what I'm saying? Hell show yeah. off to the world. She want to be shown off to the world. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but the social media shit don't count to me. Like, yeah. the social media, I come on, I cut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like these people don't know me for yeah, real. Like for I know real. a lot of people on social media, but yeah. like this not who I am on social media. For sure, like, you know hell what I'm yeah. saying? I told yeah. them like I come here for fun. Yeah, hell yeah. Like you, you see, me, you see me <laughs> in the streets. That's me. Yeah. You see me at parties, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm cutting the fuck up, but like yeah, yeah. social media, I I say whatever come to my mind. Like I could be on some fake shit, like oh shit, I just won a million dollars. Like you don't believe yeah. it? Hell yeah, for sure. Cause everybody, <laughs> we was talking about that shit on the last show with the last nigga, dog. Like niggas be on that bitch having a straight mask on just for social media, like trying to prove a point. Nigga, what you proving, bro? What you right. trying to what you trying to lie for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Be you, nigga. Man. Like like that's like me, like nigga. I, I tell niggas like that all the time, nigga. I'm from I'm from the hood. But I ain't, I ain't no hood nigga, like you know what I'm right. saying. Like I know, I know, I know who I am, and you know what I'm saying. You know how to move. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, know how motherfuckers to move. who do all type of crazy shit, nigga. But nigga, just because I'm associated with them, don't mean that I'm them. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm just this is where I'm from. I'm from East Warren. You know what I'm saying. I'm from Cooper, between Fours and Warren. Like mm -hmm. I go over all the time. I know everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying, but I'm just you know what I'm saying that don't mean that they don't mean that I'm that type of person. Right. You feel me? And then yeah. you talk about that one shit with the trips with the chicks. That's one thing I learned from this nigga. Like. You gotta make sure, like, if I know I'm about to go hang out with these niggas, go out of town, I gotta have a trip with my girl first. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're like, damn, oh, yeah. you can't hang with these niggas, but we at the crib going to the store and shit. <laughs> you know man, what I'm saying? Man, I. I <laughs> <laughs> my chest be wild. <laughs> Look, I ain't gonna lie. Look, <laughs> like, it's a lot of shit we can't catch on camera. Yeah, but the shit I catch on camera be still wild. Duh. And it don't be wild as the shit we don't catch on camera. Yeah. But, like,. <laughs> man, we be having married couples in there. We be having <laughs> my cabin trips is just that. Like my my cabin trips is crazy. Man, funny as hell, dog. We be fun though. It's like we we all have fun together. There don't be no drama or nothing like that. But it's yeah. just be like care, nigga. You, I saw you, nigga. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you was tripping. Like, like, like nigga, you you standing on table. Look, <laughs> the cabin trip before we just had this last one. Yeah. I fucked up the table. Yeah. Paid three thousand dollars for this table, dog. Damn, what the fuck you do? Look, this shit right here. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Memories. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Fell through the table. A granite table. <laughs> A granite table. And I wasn't even drunk yet. But I was drinking like yeah. crazy that whole trip. Yeah. Man, it was it just be some shit. Man, crazy. But it's hell. always good vibes though. Hell like, yeah. Man, good times and shit, dog. A bunch of women though. Yeah. A bunch of women. <laughs> so, man, let's get to the music shit. Like, you, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's that's when I first peeped you doing music, dog. You know what I'm saying? It was a while back. But at what age did you start like fucking with the music? Like this is something that I wanna I wanna do and shit. Taking it seriously? Yeah. Like five years ago. Oh, for real? But I've been rapping my whole life. Yeah. Not, I ain't gonna say my whole life. Hell, since the hot boy days, we my brother taught my brother my brother Reese taught me how to write raps. Okay. My brother Bone and yeah. he taught me how to structure my words, like you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So I started getting into the mechanics of it. Okay. So uh shout out to my shout out to my English seven eight teacher, Miss Dinkins. Yeah. She showed me how to 
use my iambic pentameters and <laughs> how to structure them. I, I used to do I do poetry. I started off with poetry. Okay, all right. So that went into the rap. Yeah. Like I learned how to structure my words. I metaphors, similes, hold on, hold on, real double quick, entendres, all that. What's the poem you wrote to the chick together though? I already know you did. I never. Oh shit! <laughs> that shit is on Facebook, bro. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas always do poetry for a chick, though. Hey, no. Nah, it, look, my, my first poem wasn't about a female, but I used to write, I used to write, uh, I used to write poetry, like erotic poetry, and send it to females on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't even know if them bitches on there no more. Them bitches, like, I was like, wow, this nigga, dog. <laughs> You gotta look at yourself like this. I, love, I, look, I wrote a love poem, freaky shit. Like, it, it was different varieties of poems. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know when niggas write poems, there's always that one in the stairs they, they wrote I, I think, chick, dog. I think my, my first poem was more like, uh, damn, dog. You got me thinking now, my wheels turning. <laughs> I think it was like, um, Something about being fresh and shit like that, like yeah, me in the yeah, streets and yeah. yeah. But it was more like um, how people don't want to be in the drug like yeah. like that because that shit it's a lot. Yeah. You gotta be on your security, you gotta be on your your own account and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like you gotta do this. I was breaking it down. Yeah. So it <laughs> man, <laughs> I can't yeah. even talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But, so you say you was writing? Yeah, that shit went from poetry to motherfucking rap. You was young as hell rapping and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, like. Then I went to battle rap in high school. Man. Yeah. High school, I was the king of that motherfucker fourth and fifth hour. Duh. That's some shit. See, I wish like I do music too, but nigga, freestyling some shit, dog. That shit, nigga, I just can't do it, dog. Like I gotta Listen, write that man. shit, bro. Like maybe if I'm doing some drunk shit. Man, I said. Wait, I remember this one line I said, and this shit, the whole lunchroom was crazy, dog. Yeah. I say, uh. Fucking with nigga like me, I put the niggas in the dirt. I don't care who it is. Wait, what the fuck I say? <laughs> I say, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck around, fuck around, nigga like me. You gonna get murked. I don't care who it is. You can put them niggas in the dirt. I say, you can even call Tyrone. <laughs> I say, and I put that nigga on the, I say, uh, <laughs> I put that nigga on the shirt. No, I said, I get that nigga murk. You gonna watch Todd die like when you put different colors on his shirt or some shit like that. Yeah. It's like you can, so you can call Tyrone. No. And I put that nigga in the dirt. You gonna watch Todd die like when you put different colors on the shirt. Okay, okay. Like it was like, <laughs> man. I, mean, I used to be mad because my nigga Al used to be rapping and shit, though. I remember he said some shit. Niggas went crazy. That nigga said, we don't do drop bys We just come knock on your dough. Niggas went crazy. That nigga said the craziest shit in the world, dog. And right there, I'm like, dog, I wish I could rap, dog. Man. I wish, I'm like, nigga, I used to say that shit it's, all high school. Like, I wish I could, I wish I could do music. I used to love that shit so much, bro. It's fun. I used to love that shit. It took me until like nigga, Reg. I mean, Reg one who made me uh, start rapping, dog. So then once he got locked up, like I said, I just started writing even more. Like, man, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that shit. Mm -hmm. But then I never took that shit. Like, I never really took it 100 percent serious, dog. Like, it's, for real, I used to, just, I used to, used to just do it because I never put my all into different. shit. This industry shit different. Um. It's funny. This is about to be funny as hell to say. Now that I said it out loud. <laughs> when we was younger, we used to be hooked on phonics. We used to be hooked on phonics. <laughs> I shit. Shit though, yeah. Cat in the Hat told me, taught, taught me how to rhyme. Yeah, for real. Hell, like, yeah. That, was, that was my rhyming stepping Duh. stone. Like It was yeah. putting this with that hat, cat, rat, bat. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a bunch of that. But it's like, like once you, like, it sounds silly when you reading that shit when yeah. you're young. But like when you really like. Yeah, for sure. Hell Structure yeah. that shit like damn. Hell yeah, damn. Like you make a motherfucking story, but like, wow, that shit crazy. Yeah, like Dr. Seuss, nigga. Like yeah. my mama used to buy me all those green eggs and ham. Nigga, are you my mom or Man, some shit? We, like, no, I'm not your mom. I'm like, I'm a dog. Well, <laughs> look, look. Even though my no. even though my grandma was in the streets, she always made sure we was up on our book shit. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Hell yeah. All Hell my yeah. brothers smart as fuck. We read encyclopedias. Yeah, niggas. Like, we had dog. a library. Niggas don't even know about that shit, dog. We had a library. Like, before this Google shit that y'all yeah, on. A dictionary, you got to look up a word. Niggas, like, exactly. the origin of it, nigga, all that shit, dog. Like, nigga, I remember in school, you had them spelling tests, nigga. Like, you got to look up, the, you got to write sentences for that bitch. You got to do definitions for I it. I want the spelling being in the seventh grade. I want that bitch to be like eighth spell. graders. Yeah. And Marcus Garvey. I went on the news. Yeah. I, I went to the spelling bee. I just I, I just never continued. That's yeah. what it was. 
But you know what I'm saying? I got my name on the dictionary, uh, the paper, all that shit. Yeah, I was yeah. like, man. <laughs> nigga, I was the hype shit when you went to spelling bee, nigga, because when you get them last three people, you be that bitch like. I had I had my name on the website. <laughs> I, I won I won the preliminary the preliminary trials and all that shit. Yeah. But I never went to the finals because yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. My mama had to work. We ain't had you know yeah. what I'm saying. That, I, that's I, ain't, what, I ain't really talking hey, about. That's when you know a nigga struggling when they give you that word like nigga. Uh, 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 whatever word is like, can you can you use it in a sentence? Like, oh, that nigga about to lose. <laughs> you already know when yeah. nigga said that Solid. shit. Hell yeah. Can you uh, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> like this nigga try his best. To- <laughs> hey, look, I I did all that shit with so much confidence. Uh, I never asked for the spelling of the word, the origin, nothing. It was just like the cautious, <laughs> C A U. Like you know what I'm saying? Hey, no, that's I just me. started I, spelling that shit out. They was like, this nigga about to fuck up. No, you got to say a word, spell a word, then say a word again, dog. When well, we used to do that shit in class, especially if you knew you knew those words, nigga, you'd be hype. Like I can't wait for the spelling bee. Mm-hmm. But then you you messed up on word. Like hold on, hold on. I thought you said that. One. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be mad as hell. Like there, like which one? <laughs> I went off of pneumonia. Like no. that was my last word, pneumonia. <laughs> Damn, you spell that shit with a P. Like, nigga, I would everybody don't like, know you spell that shit with a P. Like nigga, P N E U. Like I would you know what I'm like N. Wrong. Oh, 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 can you use in the words? <laughs> <laughs> dog, niggas fucking up, dog. Like so, niggas ain't know that P was silent. Nigga, where that come from? Me? Yeah. Nigga, me? You got a K and E? Like what the fuck is that? Hell yeah, <laughs> dog. Hell yeah. yeah. Motherfucker, I, I was in that bitch thinking Phoenix with an F. Nigga, I'm in that bitch playing Phoenix with an F. Like <laughs> phenomenal. Like what? <laughs> like, no, that shit, nigga. Spelling words. I saw a spelling book in this. I used to work at Bell. T- I used to work at Bell Tire. Though I can say that shit. That was. <laughs> I, I had that job. I seen them. Might somebody had the motherfucking spelling, the spelling word book in they in they in they um bad seat. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I, that, that just brought straight up memories, dog. Like, nigga, man. like that shit was good times, nigga. That shit, rhyming dictionaries and all that shit. Like, that yeah. shit, all that shit worked. Like so, all that shit, all that shit tied it. Like, if you ever understand like how this shit worked. That shit, everything tied into each other. Mm-hmm. It's like, as far as taking your English classes, like yeah. all that shit tying to rhyming, or yeah. uh, going to writing books and all that shit. Yeah, understanding words, what they mean. You ain't just using it for no dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You using it the correct way and all that. Like, I, I, I use every element of school that I could. Yeah. Like, we took... We took business class. Yeah. I use that shit for the streets. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, you yeah, know what I'm real. saying? You got to make the... Yeah, you you got, got consumers. You got... You know what I'm saying? I got to be the supplier. I got to be... Yeah, like, supply, demand, all that shit, dog. Breaking in, man. That shit crazy. But if you use it the right way, shit, you make money. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So shit, dog. You know, you say you started off rapping young. You took that shit serious when you got older. When, when was your first time in the studio? Uh, Let me see. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga First West. Uh, we we didn't even record it for real, but we was like we was high as hell. Yeah. We was on six hundred block Amdale. Yeah. And he had a studio in his basement. Hell yeah. And we got high, we just started freestyling. Bunch of females around the motherfucker. Yeah. We just started freestyling. And he like we he recorded it but he didn't save it. Yeah. So like that time I was like, oh shit, I sound good on this motherfucker, but I didn't start really coming back to it until like after high school. Yeah. And it was funny because as much as I used to rap in public in high school, yeah. I never did a talent show. Yeah. I never did You're a talent show. Shit. And yeah. I and I was good at this shit. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about how he stupid. He shoot game crazy, clothes clothes go dumb though. That was one <laughs> of my matter of fact. That's funny he popped up on here. <laughs> his his studio, my nigga Red Wing Wiz, was one of the first studios I went to. Yeah. This was, I was working at Dollar General. Okay. Was it high school? After high, I think it was right after high school. Yeah. Right after high school is when I started taking this shit serious. For okay. Me. Like, well, not even serious, but just like recording shit just to hear myself. Yeah. But, uh, he made one of my first songs that actually got some motherfucking some love, um, a little buzz, views, and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a video to it. It was called it was called on the block. All right, and it was so catchy. Yeah, yeah. I ain't promoted like I supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't promoted like I was supposed to, but I just put it out there. And see what the and that motherfucker say. got three thousand views. I'm like. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, like, like nigga, straight. I'm a rapper. Nigga, what the fuck <laughs> yeah, y'all talking yeah. about? Views, that's a lot, nigga. Fuck that. For real, like when you, I ain't promoted for real. Yeah, I, I ain't use Facebook like I use it now. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was just like, boom, I threw it out there. Yeah, here you go. That motherfucker started getting shared. Yeah, like 
motherfuckers start viewing it like, oh yeah, this is my favorite song. And yeah. I'm like, this? Yeah. Like this this is my dumb down music. Yeah. I was like, I what, was what, what, what year was this? When was this? Uh damn, hold on. Matter of fact. <laughs> dog, I mean, I fact go back. That's how I knew you had uh that's how I knew you had that music. I think uh, uh, Kyra had shared something that you had. Uh, that might have been it. And then I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is I was on the North End, so it had to be like, whew, no, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, cause I say this was like, had to be like what, 20, 2011? something like that. But I was rapping then, though. Yeah, I was shit. I was the metaphor press line king then. Yeah, so that oh uh, seven oh eight. Yeah, oh seven oh eight. That's what. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. that one when I seen you, like I'm like, damn, I'm like. That's why I'm like, dog, this, this nigga looks familiar like a motherfucker, dog. Like, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I remember you rapping then and shit, dog. So you say uh, yeah, that was your first time in the studio for real was with him? Yeah. Okay. So what's some shit like, niggas be, what's some shit you need in the studio, bro? Like, niggas be needing water, weed, liquor, chicks, nobody. Not, not, I, I don't require nothing in the studio. Water, that's it. Yeah. I used to get fucked up in the studio and be happy to, like, look at my phone. <laughs> I, d d look, I hate looking at my phone. Rapping, yeah, I dog. don't like that shit. Yeah, yeah. If you so, do, I, I, if I do, I, I want to look at keywords that I might forget. That's yeah. it. See, be like these features I just did, right? Yeah. And I had to do them so spur at the moment. Yeah. I had to look at my phone and rap it, so it's not the same. Yeah. Usually, I go over the shit, like and then you see how I want to style it. Right, yeah. Yeah. So I like to have a. I like to be sober when I'm in the studio now because I will fuck up. <laughs> like, no, I start slurring and shit like, uh, uh. Yo, cause that's how this nigga, his homeboy, uh, Recipes Buns, dog. We was in that bitch. I remember that's the first time I got drunk trying to record music, nigga. It was not a good thing, dog. We was like, we drinking wine. What was we drinking? 1800 too? And this nigga was eating raw ass pizza, dog. We had some raw <laughs> pizza? No, we had some pizza at the store. That bitch was not cooked, bro. We done bitch like niggas. <laughs> it was doughy as fuck. <laughs> doughy as hell. The motherfucker uh, pepperoni was like, they got that bitch off a of Lunchable and shit. Just Duh. Slap that bitch on there, dog. Smash that bitch. <laughs> yeah. We were drunk as hell. Way like on 15, like on mile or some shit, dog. Like, I way out there. We get some pizza and some liquor right before we start recording. This particular time, I knew I can't do, I can't drink and record at the same time, bro. Like, man. I, I kept fucking in and kept having to get punched in. Like, I'm like, niggas, that give me some so water. That shit's so terrible, dog. Fuck that, that, man. Mm. Man, so who like when you was doing music, like who's some nigga even now, who's some niggas from the city that you ain't work with that you wanna that you wanna work with on some music shit? Uh shit, I wanna work with everybody for real. Yeah. Nigga back in the day I wanted to work with Tom Tom, K D Z, like yeah. everybody. All right, all right, let's do that then. Uh uh Detroit music, early two thousands versus now, dog. What you what you what you what you liking more? Shit. To me, I say now it just, I hang around everybody, so yeah, it's like because back then though, Detroit, the sound was different. Everybody had their own kind of like their own little sound. Mm -hmm. Like you had, like you said, KDZ. You had motherfucking Juan Malik, man, Chatter Blade, Boys, uh, Street Lords, like uh, Hurt, motherfucking Rock Bottom and shit. Yeah, though. Like, hell yeah, niggas kind of had their own like niggas. When I moved to HP, I started fucking with Rock Bottom. I was like, oh, yeah, these niggas, niggas cool. Yeah, nigga, Weez and uh, fucking Reds putting on Rock Bottom, dog. The only first thing I remember was like that. Wait till Janetti get out. I'm like, dog, who is these niggas? Like, Listen, man, that's the first niggas I knew. I my knew about. Shadow Bar days, dog. Shadow Bar, <laughs> damn. Oh, oh, shit. Hold oh, on, oh, Shadow Bar. What was that at? Yeah, yeah, that's the one that had the fucking swing in the front when you first walked man, in. Man, what? Yep, yep, yep. Memories, dog. Uh, like, Duh. matter of fact, I'm even go back further. Shadow. The Blackwell. Like, nigga, when I say I was really into this club shit. Dog, Shadow Bar, nigga. Hold on, give me your, uh, give me your top three clubs, nigga. Well, back then, yeah, oh shit, my, my, St. Andrews, of course, of course, <laughs> St. Andrews, um, uh, because I know the Shadow Bar was before the Kingdom and shit because it was the same owners. Yeah, I say Shadow Bar Kingdom and and St. Andrews. Okay. I used to be at a lot, but I used to be at I Duh. I was a club hop. <laughs> Me too. Like Duh. like when I say shit, we was all on that shit. We nigga, we Duh. had monies. I was like we club hopping. Boom. We had Envy, we had we had uh Chrome Nightclub, we had <laughs> we had um Kingdom Shadow Bar, we went to Halls. <laughs> but I was like when I say I was working at the liquor store, yeah. I was I was in the club since I was like sixteen. Yeah. I had this shit. <laughs> Girl, that like you know what I'm saying? I had this shit, I had money. So it was like I was at the zoo bar. Yeah, zoo bar. I zoo was bar at River Rock. Kingdom. Because every time somebody gets shot, they just change the yep. name. <laughs> yep. For real. So, so I was at the zoo bar. I was at River Rock. 
I used to sneak into uh, uh, Rado's, all that shit. <laughs> he know like, about that. I know he know about that. Dog, I'm see, my, my, see, shit, my shit was, remember the state? Niggas were going to the state. Oh, dog, I forgot about that <laughs> shit. Because then they turned that bitch to a Fillmore. Mm-hmm. But it was the state, dog. So that's the, the state was the first club I went to, bro. Man. Like, I ain't going to the club for the first time until I was 21. Man, what? Like, nigga, the Jewels, like, nigga, we used to be, nigga, we used to be in the Jewels all the time. Shout out to the nigga, uh, Jamar, dog. Nigga, uh, my shit was the San Andrews, nigga, Kingdom, and my third one probably Onyx on the west side. Onyx a nice ass club. Nigga, I remember, nigga, I'm, I'm in that bitch with my, uh, my son, mom, dog, and this nigga, uh, uh, uh Reg and Weeds hit me up like, dog, this motherfucker jumping. I'm in that bitch, like, oh, for real. Man, shout out to that boy, dog. That nigga, boy, that who? boy be barking. Who that? Justin Floyd. Oh, man. That motherfucker Onyx used to be. Nigga, Floyd, I'm talking about bottom. real talk. I was like, nigga, for every dude, it's probably about at least five chicks, dog. Like, mm-hmm. it was way more chicks than then you had to them, them RB Tuesdays, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> hold on, so nigga. I, I used to go to the motherfucking two dollar Tuesday at the Good Life. Mm-hmm. Then you go Wild on Wednesday on motherfucking uh, um, Plan B. Man, Plan B. <laughs> 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 then you had the little College Night Thursdays. Then Friday was St. Andrew. Saturday, I chilled my uh, my, my baby mama, nigga. <laughs> and then Sunday, I go to Onyx, nigga. Like, was, and the only day we didn't go to the club, dog, was Monday and fucking Saturday, dog. We was in there, bitch, Damn, dog, like, you heavy. Right. Cause I used to see I used to see Jamar a lot in them bitches. No, so yeah, what we, you doing here? Shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, what you doing? Here? <laughs> so we used to, yeah, so yeah, we used to be bumping to each other. Cause nigga, I used to me and my nigga Reds, we used to call the, the Young City Boys dog mm-hmm. back then. So now I always get these fucking shirts, Young City Boys coming soon before we go to the club, nigga. That shit never came out. <laughs> see, it's funny because like the way I the way I monetize myself now as far as like branding and all that shit. Yeah. I could have did that shit back then. Like, I had eyes on me. Hell yeah. Like, yeah, everybody yeah. was trying to see who the fuck we was, but Duh. all we wore was red flags and shit. Like, yeah. was, you know what I'm saying? Man. I could have did all that shit. Now that I think about it, I'm like, damn, I could have. Yeah, could have been. But y'all was just trying to have fun, get hoes, Man, you know what, what I'm saying? Have <laughs> a good time. Because I, I was thinking like, damn, I got so many people following us in the club. Yeah. I start throwing parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started throwing parties, what, like four or five years ago? For sure. Man, I was like, damn. Hey, who's the one nigga used to throw in parties with? D- DJ Lish? Man, what? Yeah. LTC? Like, Shout nigga, out to Lish, dog. <laughs> dog, I remember nigga, uh, Kingdom, nigga. We was in Kingdom, dog. And nigga, you, uh, nigga got, nigga got murked right outside the front door. But the gun shots were so loud, I'm thinking them niggas inside. Everybody dropping, this nigga Jamar like, now I'm just looking to see some games gonna fall. I'm about to snatch the bitches. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> From a nigga. So we had to go around the back to come out, come to the front, nigga, see a nigga laid out, stressed out. I guess the nigga got kicked out the club, tried to attack the bounce, bouncer. Mm-hmm. Nigga, bouncer popped that nigga. Man. Like, nigga, we used to, nigga. Should be real out here, though. Nigga, them club days used to be heavy, dog. Like, man. nigga, you remember that shit? Nigga, we be getting drunk as fuck. Go to the club, nigga. Like, that was my shit, bro. Like, Looking back, I had a good time, but I wish I would have used my time for some other shit, too, though. Yeah. Because, nigga, I, my whole week was just get money, go to work, take care of my son, go to the club. Get man. fucked up, repeat that shit every, every fucking weekend, dog. Shit, I was, I was getting all this motherfucking money, going out of town, blowing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go out of town to chase a bag. Yep. Take a, take a bag down the motherfucker. Take a female down there. Take her shopping. Yeah. Uh, that's probably why I'm motherfucking stingy as hell now. <laughs> Cause I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers, females just love my money. I don't like that shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. hey, but then you go to a club when the motherfucking time go back. You get that extra hour in that bitch. <laughs> man, what? Hey, look, we used to be in the shadow bar so heavy. We started getting drinks free. Dog. Shadow bar was, I, I, I went to the shadow bar probably about a good five times, five, six times, dog. I remember that swing, the fucking uh, coat check on the left side, dog, and all that shit, no, dog. No, look, this deep. We used to get pictures of liquor. Yeah. This nigga said pictures, dog. Pictures dog. of liquor, like. Blue motherfuckers, Long Islands, Purple Rain, all that shit. Pictures of liquor. I used to buy like, <laughs> like two, three of these bitches at a time. Yeah. Like, hey, you want to drink? Come here. Hey, come hang with us. We yeah. in this section. No, 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 no. Like we used to be upstairs in the beds and all that. Yeah. Man, it was crazy. Cause that's what, who's that nigga who worked for the uh, rail station, dog, from St. Louis? Who's being that bitch all the time? Uh, Shorty the Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Him and DJ BJ used to be in that bitch yep. all the time. Like that's when it was like just starting and shit, dog. See, but like I'm, I'm like. I'm like known but unknown. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, like, cause yeah. y'all, everybody see me everywhere. Yeah. They be like, but I don't know this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> because like, I don't know to everybody else, I look unapproachable. Like, yeah. I'm cool as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. when everybody see me out, they, they just be staring like. <laughs> 
They're like, Man. this nigga, I don't know what the fuck up with this nigga, but like, <laughs> everybody around this nigga, but should I approach this yeah, nigga? I yeah, know him, nigga. I don't know him. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But that's where everybody, you got to be like, kind of like that. Like, when you know somebody, you be like, damn, should I ask this nigga, do I know you? No, but I, I go out to people. I ain't, <laughs> right. I ain't scared of shit. Yeah, like, yeah. nigga, if it happened, it happened. We going to... Either we're going to catch a fader or, or shake hands. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it yeah. is what it is. Hell yeah. So you say you didn't take uh, music 100% until, you know what I'm saying, until, five years ago. Yeah. And then I start to, I want to say like two years ago, I really started putting money into it. Yeah. Like so, I really started putting money behind yeah. myself. And that's like, what I'm about to say right now. Like, do you take it 100% now? Yeah. Or is something you like doing? Yeah. I start getting, I got more eyes on me now. Yeah. Like I got people reaching out from, from management. Every, all the producers re reaching out. Yeah. Um, I be popping up at shows. I get booked for shows now. Yeah. Hell Pay yeah. shows. So that shit like hell yeah. that shit the best. So like when you getting so, I really only, I told I told uh, I told Diddy this. I was like, look, I don't I don't do I don't do uh, showcases. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting booked for shows now. Yeah. Like, but I don't record everything because when I go, I just go. Yeah. I had a pop up show in Miami that I got paid fifteen hundred dollars for. All right. I literally left work, got on the plane, went there, came back, went back to work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was just like that. Yeah. They was like, you want you want us to pay for the hotel? I'm like, no, I ain't staying. Yeah, I'm going back home. I'm going straight to the airport. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Take your business, go back Shit, to the that, crib. That is my benefits. Like until this until I make over fifty thousand or so or some shit like that, yeah. I'm not about to quit nothing. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. I can't wait till I be able to quit my job. I ain't got work mm. for no fucking nobody no more. For real. Nigga, that's gonna be that's gonna be nigga. This, this rap shit, nigga crown on this, this bitch. This, so. this rap and this party shit really got me out of debt. I yeah. was in debt. Hell like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, go back to school. That's one thing we ain't we don't know about one fucking credit and all that shit. Man, they actually Shout out to Miss Shivers in, in Northern. Yeah. She taught us about credit. She taught us about business, all that shit. Man, I wish. really started taking that shit serious now because, like, 2016, I bought my... Well, I didn't even buy a car. I, I leased my first car, yeah. I, my, my Ram. Okay. I had a Ram. Yeah, I actually leased that shit myself, so it's like yeah. my credit score. Was, yeah, you ain't have to need even you know cosign or nobody to do that shit. Exactly. For you. that's the best thing, dog. Cause man, get the credit. Like my credit. My credit score good. Yeah. It's fuck nine. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? My shit wasn't shit two years ago. Yeah, for sure. Take time though, and it's never too late to, to get that bitch back right. Cause that's, that's my thing. That's what I'm about to start doing though. I get my shit right. Cause eventually, me and my wife going to buy a house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gotta make sure both our credits a one. Cause we renting right now. You don't want to keep paying rent. Cause you look up ten years later, you didn't put all this money into a somebody else shit. Exactly. Nigga, that money could have been some shit that you got, you own. You could pass that shit down to you know what I'm exactly. saying? Anything. Generation. Look. Pass that shit down generations. Man, hell yeah, dog. Hell Same yeah. with the cars and all this shit. I just, I just bought another car. Yeah, <laughs> like hell you know yeah. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm buying cars. I, I stopped. Listen, in high school, I used to buy so many shoes. Like, yeah, hell yeah. I used to buy. I had every Jordan. Yeah. I had all the Air Force it. Ones. I used to custom my Air Force Ones. Yeah. Custom my Jordans. I used to just blow my money on the dumbest shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But now it's like. Every chance, every fucking, every dollar I get now, I put it in my business. Yeah, got to. I, I don't even wear my shirts. Well, I'm, I just made this shirt. Yeah. You know, this this for the hood shit. But, like, I wear, I got a brand called High I'm Toxic. Yeah, I saw that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, this this really just started off as some cabin shit. Yeah. Like, oh, nigga, you toxic. You toxic this. And then, yeah, and then I'm yeah. like, fuck it. They call me toxic. <laughs> High I'm Toxic. That's my name. <laughs> fuck it. That's my name now. Yeah. Like, so I put that shit on the shirt. Everybody start. Oh man, where can I get that from? I'm like, <laughs> shit, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you where I got it made at. But I was like, you know what? Fuck that. Yeah, I get it. So I copywritten the shit. Yeah. I I got a press machine. I got I got uh, the sewing table, embroidery machine, she all that shit. This nigga does shit. I just look. I literally just got all this shit. So I'm learning yeah. how to work all this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to. Fix so you my, made you made the head too. This no, I didn't. Okay, okay. I should, <laughs> look, I should have. <laughs> um, but I, I'm gonna come out with my own henny hats. Yeah. But like, um, I'm just saying what I was not taking. Yeah. So like, they give you they give you options of shit that's not taking mm -hmm. the uh, Better Business Bureau, all that shit, like Legal Zone, all that. Yeah. So I copywritten High I'm Toxic, trademarked it. Yeah. Uh, Toxic Tees is my company. Okay. Um, then I, as far as like when I, even when I do the, uh, parties, yeah. I, 
I do it under Kev Jordan Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hell yeah. I get money yeah. off of everything. Like all this shit is taxes. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, I but, like, we were talking about that shit with uh with white people, dog. Like when they be they they, they personal credit be fucked up, but they business credit is straight, so they run everything through that bitch, dog. Like yeah. it be shit that you don't know, nigga. Like I'm that, still learning from this nigga about shit. My bit my big brother about shit, dog. Like because people ain't gonna give you the sauce. No, like, nigga, nobody gonna, gonna, gonna give you the sauce. Everybody gonna be too scared. Like nigga, if I if I get this nigga killed too much game, he might explode. If this nigga asks me about how to do a podcast, I tell him shit. His podcast might do better than mine. It's like you uh, can't think like that because then you just nigga. All your, everybody gotta eat together, dog. Because I got people be like, let me brand out that toxic. I'm like, you can. But you can't take how I'm toxic. We could, we could like expand together, yeah. like we could collab and all that shit. Yeah. That's cool. But you're not gonna take my shit. Yeah. Like that's you know so what I'm saying. Why, why, why was niggas calling you toxic, bro? What the fuck you was doing? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of this shit that you don't see on camera. Um, yeah. <laughs> nigga, yes, it was. It's. I have a great time. All yeah. The time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hey. every every weekend, you see me doing some different shit. Yeah. I probably. I wake up and go out of town on the weekend because if I ain't got my kids, I'm yeah. up. Yeah, for sure. So, I I go out. I hang around females all the fucking time. Yeah. They, everybody think I'm fucking all the females I'm with. I'm not. <laughs> Just to let y'all know that shit. I, I really be like when I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Yeah. But uh. They just see all the all the drinking, all the parties, all yeah, the like all wild. the women around me. <laughs> like, man, I want to hang with this nigga. This nigga yeah. fun. Hell yeah! But I I really be like that. But like when I'm when I'm on my own time, like you, people see me at a restaurant or some shit. Like, say some funny shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> like I had to do comedians yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's all funny, cause like, like nigga. Nigga, you just chilling. You at a bar. I'm at a, I'm at a bar by myself. They like, nigga, I don't see you all now. Like, nigga, what you doing? Like, dog, I'm just chilling. They nigga. want you to be. They want you to be like this all the fucking time. Like, I'm not like this all the time. Nigga, I be go, chill. Go crazy, nigga. Get on that table, nigga. Like, like nigga, you see me, you see me with my kids, nigga. Back the fuck up. When yeah. You get beat the fuck up. Like, nigga, don't do that. Yeah, for sure. Hell no. But, dog, um, dog. yeah, for the most part, I'm. That's me. Like, I'm just me yeah. all the time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now, uh. On the on the on the music shit, dog. I, I peep. You say you ain't did a whole bunch of features. You got a lot of singles, dog. What's up with a, uh, with a full project, bro? You take your time. With I you? got enough music to do a full project. Actually. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. I just never put it out. Everybody be on my head too, dog. Yeah, cause I'm like, dog. I think you got you got fucking singles for days, feature got, for days. Look, my favorite songs is the ones I need to put out. Check. All right, I got. I got the song my nigga Wiz put together. Like two songs my nigga Wiz put together. He he bought. I mean, he he made the beats for me. I bought him. You know what I'm saying? His name, light skin dude. No. Okay. I, it, his name, his name, name Red Wing Wiz, DJ okay. Wiz. So he made two dog ass beats for me. I made two crazy ass songs that yeah. I ain't even released yet. Yeah. I got to go re-record them. Okay. I ain't like the way I recorded it, but uh, I got one car hot potato is about to come out. Yeah. I'm gonna do a twerk. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a twerk contest behind it. I'm gonna okay. throw a couple thousand. Yeah, I'm, so, tell you, I'm, like, I'm, I'm already thinking about this shit. Ass all over the place, man. Listen. <laughs> listen, dog. I'm going to throw a couple thousand behind it. Like, yeah. as far as, like, the contest, just to get them motivated. Yeah. Um, I got a song called Fool With Me. I got my song with, with uh, my nigga Chris T. That shit called Shut The Fuck Up. Yeah. And that shit got, like, a... It got like a Bay Area vibe to it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a nice-ass bounce to it. I got talking that shit I already got out, but I'm about to shoot the video. Okay. I got uh, Big Handy, of course. Yeah. That shit did numbers. That I didn't right, yeah. I I even have to do shit to that. Man, listen. I, I threw that shit out. Motherfuckers like, you ain't gang, nigga. Yeah. Like, anytime somebody see me in the club, like, I go, I ain't even got a bed to get my motherfucking song playing nowadays. This shit crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. I walk in the club, Ken Jordan in the motherfucking building. And and five minutes later, my motherfucking song playing. Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. like, damn, that shit is awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, for sure. Nigga, um, <laughs> damn. Let me see what else. I I got. I got this song. It's like a tribute to Nip Nipsey. Yeah. But it's like, it's more for like, um, it's called my pledge. Okay. So it's more like a background how I grew up so I'm just trying to structure like how I'm gonna come out with this next project yeah, yeah, so yeah, I might yeah. just do two Yeah. so I might do like an album yeah. and then I might do a mixtape yeah, 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 cause yeah. I got my gangster shit mm -hmm. I uh got my tribute to Dex I did uh Death On Me okay. that freestyle was crazy yeah um 
Yeah, we come. Yeah. I swear I might do it. We need to come on show my ass, nigga. Why he ain't got no projects out? Just all singles, dog. I know. Cause man, some I... nigga do that shit purposely. Like my nigga Mojo was like, nigga, tell his. I guess his fan base is, is big enough. He's gonna drop singles until he see like, okay, if I drop this album, it's gonna do. It's gonna I do make. Some I make more money off the singles. Though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Make, oh, the biggest one right now. Uh, besides Big Henny, I got with my nigga Ju. Yeah. Association. Oh yeah, that shit. Hard, that yeah. shit got. That's the uh, one shit I was talking to you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit. Yeah, that shit, that shit got a bounce to it. Hell yeah. Literally everybody that I've been playing it for and every other they actually I put that bitch on my Facebook. I got people from different states reaching out and that's how I got booked. Yeah. That's how I'm being be booked and shit. Yeah. So they like, oh man, where can we book y'all? And I'm like, this is my price. Yeah. So when y'all come with the price. Yeah, for sure. When y'all come with the money, then we can talk. Yeah. I'm like nigga, and then. They even here, uh, strip clubs are trying to book me and shit. Yeah, like y'all got to come with the money. Like, Hell you yeah. want me to come by myself? I I do I do it for this price. But yeah. if you want me to bring the game with me, like all that shit. Yeah, it's gonna be a higher price. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then the whole motherfucking city will come out. Yeah. So it's like it's how you pay me is how I'm gonna come out. Yeah, for, for sure. Real. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I try to make it. I try to make it. I try to make it good for everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, do you get yourself like a age cap though, like? If this music shit ain't taken off by this, I'm I'm done. Or you'd be like, fuck it, I'm just going with the flow. Like I'm going with the flow. Yeah. Because I was going to give up. I ain't yeah. going to lie. I was going to give up when I turned 30. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, fuck it. Yeah. But then I got that break. Mm-hmm. Um, I got that break, and I was like, everybody started fucking with me again. Because I, I, I quit music when I got in a relationship. Yeah. So it was like, Shane want me rapping, and then I just gave up on the shit. Yeah. But after I, after I cut ties with her, yeah. my shit started going back yeah, up. Yeah. And I was like, but dog, oh, a, I'm back hot. Shit. A relationship but do that shit, dog. Like you said, d- depending on who you with. It depends on the person, bro. Like that bitch, I ain't calling her bitch, but I'm saying that the relationship <laughs> make, make you want to stop doing shit that you got passion for because she might be mad about the time that you gone away from the crib and all that shit, dog. Or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You just might not be interested because you putting so much time into her that you forgetting about your motherfucker self. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was and I was like, uh, I had to end that shit. My shit dying. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, nigga, that shit, or nigga, like, hey, I thought about that shit too. Relationships get you fast as fuck. Nigga, you just be unmotivated, nigga, like. Man, what? Duh. I was fucked up. I, <laughs> nigga, I, I, I think I went up to like 260 <laughs> something. <laughs> nigga be chilling like a Man, motherfucker, dog. Just, just not productive at all, nigga. Yeah, like, so you say once that relationship was over, that's when you, you got the love. Yeah, I, music I got back on my shit. Start getting yeah. that shit right. Man, I, I just started coming out with shit. I was like, I'm creative as fuck. Like, it don't take me no time to make a song. Yeah. Like, yeah. Me, me and my nigga Chris T, ESPN and Chris, we'll get in the studio. We'll make a song in like five, ten minutes. Yeah. We did Shut the Fuck Up Like That. We did The Big Amount Freestyle. We got a song called um, uh, "Get on the Flow." Mm-hmm. Uh, like we, we nigga, hell of music, like nigga, hell of music, man. I'm you, telling you, you drop it, you gonna drop that bitch this year, dog. I'm gonna drop it this year. All right, I'm gonna drop it for <laughs> my birthday, <laughs> actually. <laughs> we um, birthday, dog. Put the pressure on your ass. August before August, <laughs> all this shit gonna drop. All right, bet. I even got, I even got. I even got Mish to do the fucking cover art, all this shit. Like, everything is ready to come. Yeah. Every, everything ready to go. I got everything now. now you, so. you, you were talking about, you know what I'm saying, relationships and shit, being, you know what I'm saying, she didn't want you rapping and shit, and you were talking about being toxic, dog. What's the wildest shit you you did to keep a chick from leaving, dog? Who? <laughs> <laughs> or the wildest shit a chick did to keep you from leaving, whichever one is motherfucking funny. Man. I got so many fake pregnancy stories. <laughs> Hell yeah, or, you have a fake crowd for a motherfucking chick, dog? I never. I'm, I'm not emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not, I'm not emotional, so they know, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm though. so nonchalant. I'll I, I be lying to you. I'm not emotional, but for some reason, dog, after my, after my mom's had passed away, dog, little shit get to me, bro. Like, I be watching TV like, damn, I'm glad nobody wasn't over this bitch. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I nigga, before my mom died, nigga, I probably named one hand how many times I cried. Nigga, after my mom cried, nigga, me and my wife be watching something, nigga, it just... It ain't got to be shit to do with shit her. Hit home. But it just be like, damn, that shit got to remind me of her. Listen, I had a friend that died from cancer, right? Yeah. I watched The Best Man Holiday. Yeah. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Yeah. I didn't even cry, oh, but yeah. like, nigga, that shit got... I'm like, yes, duh. nigga, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nigga, I had... I'm like... Duh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like
Nigga, emotions the motherfucker because that shit hit you. Like, damn, why the fuck this shit hit me? I'm saying, like, I, I ain't afraid to cry. I ain't yeah. afraid to cry in front of nobody. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel about me. I'm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let my emotions out and I'm going to tell people how I feel. Yeah. But, like, that shit just don't come out. Yeah. Like I check myself. I'm like, nigga, what you crying for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, or or even at a funeral, like, nigga, celebrate, celebrate your people. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. still here in your heart. Like, yeah, you feel sure. me? Hell yeah. So, but it wasn't till the end, though. Like at funerals, I wasn't. You know, you be like, damn, I'm fucked up for the person. But then, yeah, nigga, once, once, it, once it hit once you your, at first, once your mom passed away, you be like, this is this is a different type of motherfucking death. Like, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? You gonna get friends, you gonna get cousins, whatever, whatever. But you never get another mom and dad, nigga. Like, because mm -hmm. they I, gone, man. or kids either. Like once they gone, it's, it's it's a wrap. I lost my I lost my grandma what two years ago now. Yeah, I didn't like bust out crying, but I. Felt that shit, yeah, like, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I know the difference. Because we shit. watched her suffer. Yeah, yeah. Like we watched her suffer. I'm like, I'm just glad she relieved of that pain. Hell yeah, because you ain't got to watch that shit. Yeah. So they had on tubes and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. My grandma a fighter. That yeah. shit, like, I was like, oh no. Nah. Hell yeah, that shit. Yeah, that's a different type of shit. When you see somebody, when somebody, I don't know which one's worse, dog. When you watch somebody break the fuck down, or when it's like motherfucking just happened sudden. Like nigga, my dad's shit was he was breaking the fuck down. My mom's shit was just nigga sudden. But you know, you know why I'm like this though. I never saw my mama, my daddy, or my grandma cry. Yeah, hell Ever. yeah. That's and they, and shit, I know yeah. they was going through some Duh. shit. Yeah, you right though. So, I don't, like my mom was thug, thug, thug to the bone, nigga. Like I'm like, like I don't really see her too emotional. Like it probably been a couple of times I might have seen her cry, but not often, dog. Man, and I'm, my dad for sure, nigga. Like I didn't never see I saw cry. them break down. So I'm like. They ain't crying. I see them going through all this shit, yeah. and they trying to hide this shit from us. But yeah, I yeah. see that shit, and yeah, they trying yeah. to be strong for us. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck it. So yeah, you say back to that that, that one question you said, just 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 a chick saying that some fake some fake pregnancy shit, huh? Man, man. look, I ain't never had that motherfucker. That nobody say that I'm fake pregnant, though. I ain't heard some stories, man, but what? <laughs> <laughs> Got you scared as hell. This is I wasn't even scared. I just was like, all right, show me. Yeah. I pay for the abortion. What up? No. <laughs> <laughs> what you want? I don't want no kids. No, nah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But um, shit. I think like the, the craziest shit I did. I I shot at one of my ex girlfriend <laughs> niggas' cars and shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. I I wanted. All right. <laughs> oh, this is funny. So I was working at. Mr. Allen's and shit. Yeah. Right. How oh, with Mr. Allen's you worked at? Uh, I started. Oh, I started on. Yep. Yeah, I started on East Eight Mile. Then I opened that store on Eight Mile in Woodward. Okay. Um, I had a chick. One of my chick. It yeah. was just like somebody I was fucking around with, and she got mad because we was like friends with benefits and shit like that. And she like, oh, like all the females you fucking with, blah 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 yeah. blah blah blah. Like, I thought we was closer than what we was. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's, that was after my baby mom relationship. So I was like, man, fuck all that. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, she brought in my car with <laughs> lipstick. I was all right. That's how we playing it back. Yeah. So I went to her house. I stole her car. <laughs> and I drove that bitch around the corner. And I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put Vaseline on her windshield <laughs> Her doors Just like Petty shit Just yeah. hot sauce on her seats Shit Duh. like that <laughs> It was just like A bunch of random dumb shit And I was like Fuck Duh. that Ain't no bitch about to do that shit to me And get away with it <laughs> I'm petty. I will out petty a motherfucker. The any petty day. king, man, nigga. Man, what? Hell no, that's funny but, as hell, dog. But that 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 shooting at the boyfriend car shit was the funniest shit because like, <laughs> uh, who I I heard from her best friend that that her nigga was talking about me and shit. And I was like, oh, it's like that. Yeah. Like all right, bet. Like when I get that all right, bet. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. And I'm like, as far as revenge, like or or however I want to be. I'm so low key with it. You would never know what's coming. Yeah. I I make a motherfucker think I forgot about the shit and yeah. just like pop up a month later. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nigga, like, what up though? Like, oh yeah. shit, I forgot about that shit, blood. Shot, that, <laughs> shot, shot dog tires. Dog. Shot the side of his car. He wasn't in there, but I shot it up just to yeah. let him know. Yeah, yeah, I ain't fucking around. Like, nigga, I'm not that nigga to play with for real. I dog. just, I'm silent but deadly. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, they came out like dog. This nigga, look, I. I used to, man, I used to thrive off that shit. It's like, I, it's an adrenaline rush for me. Like, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you talking crazy to me? Duh. All right, bet. Nigga say he motherfucking uh, 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 uh what's his name? Um, competitive on everything. So I seen that. <laughs> no, I like that shit. I'm like, all right. So you, oh, huh, you, Mr. Allen's, uh, the one right by Eastland. I used to. I, used I wonder what, what, what my I brother working there, dog. One. My brother named Malcolm, dog. Malcolm. Yeah, that nigga used to be high as shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. T-shirt. Hell yeah! What, what year were you, you was there? Uh, I started in 2010. Yeah. No, no, no. That's too early. Cause that nigga, he didn't start working there until we moved back to Detroit, and that was like 2015, 2016. Yeah. So I was. All right, so 2015, 2016, I was at 8 Mile & Woodward then. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I probably knew Malcolm, though. Yeah. I'm sure I knew him. That's funny as hell, dog. Because, look, I was, like, for my store, I was one of the best salespeople in the whole, you know, the whole district. Yeah, now it's just snipes now. Like, God Yeah, they, they changed it up on us. Hell yeah. I, I quit before they fired me because <laughs> I can't even talk about that. It was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't about to incriminate myself. Plus we had that one nigga who used to associate with them niggas, uh, Tom Hopkins and shit. Yeah. And well, yeah, hell oh, yeah. yeah he doing his thing for sure. Hell shout yeah. Out to, shout out to Ty and Starter Jackets and hell yeah. Man, he 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 like definitely one of the one of the top fashion people like in Detroit yeah. or like. And, and I just realized, nigga, this nigga influencer. was motherfucking. Uh, this nigga was uh, this nigga got robbed in the video from my uh, my homie homie Big KJ and shit. Oh yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> She, look, she told me about that. I'm like, man, ain't nobody never going to ride me like that. You got me fucked up. But I was like, that's my dog. I'll do it for you. Ain't no, ain't no problem, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Because I, you know what I'm saying? Just to open up that, that acting world and all that shit. Yeah. Just to show motherfuckers I can act. I, I'm going to do that. Hell I'm gonna yeah. Do that for you. She was on the show. Her, uh, her dude, uh, Verdict and shit. Them yeah. My, them my shout, out, shit. shout out. Shout out. Hell yeah. I'm like, damn, that nigga was in her fucking video get tired of the bed and shit. Dog. And that shit was so fun. <laughs> Like, listen, you you gotta know how many times we didn't, cause I was saying funny shit the whole night. Yeah. So they just caught the right shit on camera. Like when I say, I went through everything. I'm like, like what are other bitches at? Like what? Is, like you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like oh they trying to get free. They trying to do some <laughs> do some cult shit. Like like nigga, I was on some bullshit. Man, that's shit funny. No, she dope though. She straight. That's another person. I told drop. her to get her ass back out yeah, here, dog. Yeah, she's like, another person that don't drop music like she's supposed to, dog. Like, I, look, I be on her head. I told her, I'm like, we gotta make a song. Yeah. She she on my course of talking that shit. Okay, okay. So Hell talking no. that shit. That's I love it when you talking that shit. That's oh, her. her. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. She been. I told her on this shit. Like she supposed to come on the show one time because Verdi was on this bitch. You like, dog? I'm gonna get her on. Then that that's we like, dog. She don't want to fuck with it. Like she don't want to mm. do no, she don't want to do no interviews and shit. Man. But then I'm listening to her music. Like she's straight. She she can be she can be nice out here. Like niggas to fuck mm. with her, dog. Man, she rapping and singing. I'm yeah. like, what are you doing, dog? Hey, like you killing and you got and you got content and yeah. that. So like, what you doing? Hell yeah, I'm gonna make sure I, I'm gonna put this clip in and sure say, like, dog, what's up? Like, right. <laughs> you ain't doing. Look, I be on her head a lot. I'm like, dog, come on, man, what you doing? <laughs> I got I got all the DJs watching me. I got. Yeah. The, the promoters all this shit they fucking with me like hell yeah in and out of town yeah. I got a I got a show in Houston yeah uh like later in May yeah Miami Memorial Day weekend like you know what I'm saying yeah, like, like yeah you doing that shit, shit. Hell yeah well, I love I say, this uh, shit. so you say you know what I'm saying as far as like the music shit you doing that shit you about to drop something uh what what um have you ever thought about like moving out of out of the out of the state dog to get more of a buzz or you like fuck that? I thought about it, but I got kids here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. Um, I mean, like, I could still do it, but yeah. I'm, I want to make sure they straight. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And hell, my mama too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure everybody's straight before I just bounce. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell Even yeah. though people be like, man, just live for you. I'm like, no, nah, fuck yeah, that. Nah, I got, you make, got kids and your I gotta make sure, like, hell yeah. Like, because my family's small. Like, my immediate family is small. So, yeah. I want to make sure my people straight before I do anything like that. I'm not about to, I ain't about to give that shit a second thought. Yeah, hell but yeah. I could easily move. Yeah, I can make sure. money anywhere. Yeah. Like, my brand growing now. Uh, hell, I could sell anything. I went to Atlanta with, with 40 hookah cups. Yeah. They ain't no shit about hookah cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the bitches. Nigga, I made them bitches myself. Did the oranges, all that shit. Put it in the cup. Uh-uh. Draw down to Atlanta 11 hours, with 10, 11 hours. Yeah. Had that shit in the cooler and all that shit. Went to a club. When I say 
after the club, they just like we went to a hookah bar. Yeah. I was like, hey, I got portable hookahs. Yeah. I'm selling these bits for twenty. Yeah. I paid what to make them. I paid like what, like six dollars, something yeah, shit like hell that. Yeah. Not even that. <laughs> Not even that because yeah. I bought the oranges with a bridge card. <laughs> Uh, um, I bought I bought a bunch of tobacco. Yeah. And I bought some little a big ass pack of cups. So, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Got some hoses and shit wholesale. Like that shit was that shit was easy money. Hell yeah, went down there and sold that motherfucker, yeah, dog. Like not even not even hell, not even six dollars a cup for real. Duh, hell no. Nah. So what's some what what's some shit as far as like with the music shit, dog, you know what I'm saying? You doing all this shit, dog, now and you say you didn't start until you, you know, say later on. What's some shit you would change on your approach to this shit, bro? Uh, that, that you think would help. My stage presence, I changed a whole lot. Yeah. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to do the crowd control at yeah. first. Hell yeah. I get on stage now. Like I don't get nervous. Like I never get nervous before mm -hmm. shows. Like I don't do none of that shit. I just pump myself up. Like yeah. I'm about to go in there, kill these Hell motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But I go in that motherfucker, talk to the crowd. Yo, we in this say, say a bunch of relatable shit. Yeah, this this what I see with a whole lot of artists like making mistake. Talk to the crowd. Yeah, get them involved. Get them involved. Yeah. Um, I go in this bitch like I see where we at. We in Detroit. Fuck it. Hey Detroit, if you from the city, say what up, dope. Yeah. What yeah. up, dope? Like you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. just start repeating everything you say. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm about to tell this motherfucker. I'm gonna need all your motherfucking energy. We about to go in this bitch, go crazy. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I pump myself up. Yeah. You ain't just so once I feel that yeah. So yeah. once I feel that energy, I know what type of crowd I'm dealing with. Yeah. If I'm dealing with like a lounge crowd, yeah. I do my 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 lyric my lyrical music. Like yeah. I do. Um, I got a song called Do It For Real. Yeah. Um. That I pledge, I I probably like do a freestyle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Even for that uh that one show I just did, the uh, raising the bar. Yeah, I, yeah. I did all my I did all my songs first. Then I last last shit I did was with a freestyle. Yeah, hell yeah! Like you know what I'm saying? I like to show that that lyrical ability to show you. I know how to do the fun songs. I know how to do the gangster shit. Yeah. I know how to do lyrical shit. I want all the elements. Yeah, to hell show. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. And then with that shit. Like like how was that shit? How was that show with the uh It was crazy. I liked it. Yeah. My people started showing up people knew I was a, my people knew I was a headliner, so they started showing up late. Yeah. Like, nigga, what time are you going? I'm like, last. Yeah. Like I'm one of the last people. Yeah. They're like, Oh well shit, I got time. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know how I was supposed to come there, bitch. I was on I was on some lazy shit though, dog. Man. I was kinda bitch nigga. I'm like, this nigga out of town and shit. I'm like, my wife didn't feel like going with me. I'm like, man, hey uh, I don't think I'm gonna go. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna shoot out the New Orleans with him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like I had shit to do this weekend. I yeah. had through a party, what was that? What's today? I threw a party Friday, but yeah. I was at a wedding too. That's why I said I do so much. Like, <laughs> shit crazy. I was at a wedding. I left the wedding, had to go to my party, left from party, went to an after party. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, hell yeah. it's a lot. Nah, that's funny as hell. Now dog, we always like when we wind it down to the end, dog, we always be doing top three, dog. I give you a motherfucking category, give me your top three of that shit, dog. Oh shit, okay. All right, give me your give me your top three uh childhood crushes, dog. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> uh. Come on, Wait, they had to be real people. I mean not real people, like <laughs> Like um, celebrities or it, it could be like uh, regular people. Yeah, it could be celebrities. All you know, what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't think I've met like all my all the people I really all the females I really crushed on I smashed already. So it's like, <laughs> I was that nigga though. <laughs> like you understand? Like I was that nigga. Duh. But it was. Hmm. You got me thinking. Hold on. Give me my actress, I had my I had crush on teachers though. Like you <laughs> know what I'm saying? I like older women because they. I could relate to them. I had money. So yeah. it was like, when I was in high school, I ain't had no crushes for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, shit, dog. Let me see. Who I had a crush on? Pam, shit, you say, oh, you like Pam Grill or some shit, nigga. Like. Man, what? <laughs> I, of course, I love Holly Berry. Yeah. Um, Neil Long. Oh, Neil Long, classic, nigga. <laughs> like classic, shit. nigga. Like classic, nigga. Um, I mean, was, Neil Long was the truth. And everything. Uh, 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 uh. Damn. Of course, make me good. That, that was that's a no brainer. It, it was so many dog. Like I, I was never that nigga that had that had posters on the wall because yeah. I had bitches as, that was bad as that. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, like nigga, I had that little Kim poster on my wall, dog. Man, I mean, little Kim back in the day was yeah, back in the day, little Kim fire, was bad, dog. dog. Like. 
don't that, know why that, the fuck she did that to herself, bro. Like, man. nigga, Lil' Kim was bad. Foxy Brown was bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that squat and lollipop shit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's that, that's that picture, nigga. Had me shit, think about, boy. That had me think about shit before I could even think about shit. Like, damn. Yeah, so I, I'll, say, I'll say Neil Long, Holly Berry. But back in the day, yeah. Stacey Dash. I don't fuck with her now. Oh, yeah, Stacey Dash. Man. Stacey oh, yeah, Dash was, was that. What's that show she was on? Uh, what, Clueless? Clueless, that, uh, man. Yeah. What? Stacey, oh, fuck. Hell, yeah. Give me your, uh, give me your top three uh, go-to drinks, dog. We know we like liquor wise. We know Henny, nigga. I'm about to say Hennessy Privilege. Oh, Hennessy, nigga, yeah, that's the, that's the best. Hennessy thing. Privilege, Hennessy Master Blenders, Hennessy XO. Oh, you said, uh, what's the second one you said, Hennessy what? Master Blenders. Oh, Master we, have Blender. you ever had that one? That's the one in the square bottle. I never yeah. had it. Okay. Look, my brother introduced me to that. They got three versions of it number one, number two, number three. Uh, my favorite is number three so far. Yeah. Or number one. Either, either or. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I love Hennessy. Yeah, <laughs> when you come to Hennessy, I, I drink my, everything though. Yeah, I drink everything. When you come to Hennessy, my shit be privileged. I usually do this shit with with um cigars. Okay, yeah, hell yeah, that's his shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, my shit be Hennessy privileged. Yeah. If we go the white Hennessy, like the white Hennessy be smooth uh -huh. as hell. I don't know about the white Hennessy like that. Like, and then my and then my third would be just because I ain't had those would be uh the black Hennessy. I think Lance made me like that shit, dog. I don't know why. <laughs> that shit is dangerous for me, dog. <laughs> like, I can't, like, the regular Hennessy, I can't, like, I can, I can sip it, but not like how I used to. Yeah. Like, but that, because when you, when you drinking that privilege all the time, it's, it's kind of so hard smooth. to go back. Yeah, yeah that, that privilege is smooth as hell. We ain't so, had privilege in a while. So when, 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 when I hear people be like, I don't fuck with Hennessy, Remy better, I'm like, because Remy is, like you gotta think you you drinking Remy VSOP first yeah. of all. You're not drinking Hennessy VSOP. Yeah. Like nigga, you gotta do privilege to compare yeah. that to that. Like okay. you don't just yeah, 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 compare yeah. regular Hennessy to fucking Remy, nigga. Yeah. You don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You See, can't I, like Hennessy XO is different. Hennessy Master Blender is different. That Paradise different. Yeah. See, I ain't fucked around with this nigga so much. I just been on that bourbon and whiskey tip, dog. With, look, like heavy. I drink whiskey, bourbon. Jack, all that shit. I drink all that shit like in business settings. Yeah, hell so yeah. usually when I'm suited and tied up, yeah. I'm around people that got some money. I'm drinking Gentleman's Jack. I'm drinking uh, 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 Jameson shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, you on your, you on your I'm a toxic shit, nigga. <laughs> Hennessy, it's fuck. Like Hennessy is fuck. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking lives up. I'm. Man. Ruining, ruining baby mamas, <laughs> uh, whatever. Like nigga, I be on all that no. shit. <laughs> give me your, uh, give me your top three moments in life, dog. Kids warm. Okay. I'm, See, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm just choosing. Them. I ain't said shit, cause niggas ain't. When I be asking niggas, they talk. They be having kids. Niggas ain't have, ain't said that shit, dog. Don't be saying that shit. I was there for both of them. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I help push. I help coach her breathe. Yeah. Them breathe. Look, both my baby mamas. Sorry, not baby. Both my kids' mothers yeah, yeah, yeah. had the same birthday. Say. Okay, damn. July eighth. This is why I don't fuck July with 8th, cancers. That's my, uh, that's my that's my son's birthday. July eighth. This, this is why I don't <laughs> date cancers anymore. Yeah, my wife is cancer. They emotional as hell. But I don't even like. I don't. It ain't even. It ain't even a sign. It's just. It's probably. I met them at the wrong time. Okay. Yeah. Hell so, yeah. That's, that's what it is. That. Right. So yeah. um, the kids being born. Uh, graduating. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. Damn, this is like a tight ass story. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> um. Hell yeah, dog. Of course, graduating high school, college. Yeah, hell yeah. And, um, that's always a good thing. Cause I help out the community a lot too. Yeah. Uh, but I ain't gonna put that in. That's that's that's, that's gonna be top stoop. Whatever. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Accomplishes my accomplishing my fears. Um, skydiving, bungee jumping, getting on planes, parasailing. You did that shit? Hell yeah. <laughs> Scary. Look, when I say I used to be afraid to climb a ladder, yeah. nigga, like <laughs> a step stool. Duh, for sure. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. My first, my first time doing something, I went to L.A. Yeah. Uh, fourteen. 2014, I went to LA, went yeah. to the uh, American Music Awards, all this shit. Yeah. First time on the plane. Okay. Um, after that, I started bungee jumping. Yeah. That shit hurt. I don't like it no more. Yeah. I ain't fucking around with it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even go on roller coasters no more. 
I got stuck twice. Third time might be a charm. I ain't <laughs> fucking with it. Duh. I be seeing the niggas who be getting stuck like, damn. I ain't, nigga, I, I was upside down for like three minutes and it felt like an hour. Duh. Bro, you, so you, I rushed into my head. What, you was at uh, Cedar Point? Cedar Point and um, uh, Universal Studios. Duh. I was like, nope. I got, I. it was this chick called the Pharaoh. And then she got stuck upside down. Chain started falling on my pockets. I'm like, I ain't never getting on the shit no more. <laughs> Hell no. Fuck that. Fuck that, and, I'm, and I'm a daredevil, so it's like, to get me to say no to yeah. shit. Because usually all the motherfuckers be like, nigga, you scared. I'm like, who's scared? Yeah. I ain't bet. Yeah. That's exactly how the drinking shit go. Like, yeah. when, I, when motherfuckers be like, nigga, you can't drink like me. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> all right, I got you. Duh, hell I'm, duh. I always chase my shit with water, though. Oh, yeah, got to, got to, dog. I'm, I'm learning that shit now. Listen. Back in the day, nigga, I, I used to be it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All bad, all bad. Nigga, nigga, dry as hell. But, um... Yeah, I say it accomplishes my fears and shit. And, yeah. like, that's not even just as far as heights. As far as, like, jumping into business, jumping in, like, just jumping. Yeah, just getting you know in what I'm saying? without being worried about what's going to happen if this don't happen shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, I know that's with me, where a lot of times I think about what can go wrong instead of just doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Even with this podcast shit, I'm like, man, this shit might not be, niggas might not even want to fuck with it. But then one day, nigga, I talk to this nigga, like, man, fuck it, I'm doing that shit, dog. Yeah, right because it, I always tell like people, you know, people always gonna be like, they doing this. Why you doing this? Yeah, like, nigga, yeah, no, yeah. fuck that. I'm gonna do this too. Yeah, it didn't sit with me with the podcast shit, nigga. I've been listening to podcasts for so fucking long, bro. Like, I always thought about it, but never wanted to go 100 percent with it. Like, my like, damn shit, dope. Like, before podcasts, like niggas, everybody love podcasts, nah. But back when nigga like 2014, 2015, I'm like, I'm listening to them then. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, like you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember my nigga. Uh, damn, what's that nigga who um who locked up right now, dog? Tax stone. That nigga shit would be dope because his shit was just like to get to the questions everybody don't ask. Yeah, and they just that's why I said I'm like that's why I gravitated towards y'all. I'm like, oh, he he asked him some real questions. Like yeah, like oh, all right, I hell fuck yeah. with it. Hell yeah, because because you know some shit nigga like a lot of motherfuckers I be seeing that shit be just generic. So when did you start rapping? Like, right. like, what made you do it? Like, man, fuck that, yeah. nigga. Hey, nigga, what the fuck going on? Cause, like, <laughs> who you fucking with, nigga? Like, it, I want to be a conversation piece. We already in the basement, so it just be some kicking and shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Hell yeah. I fuck with it. Look, that's why I was, I was like, shit, I, I'll come on this bitch anytime. I don't Hell care. Yeah. Hell yeah. And a nigga show a little to a podcast before I even ask a nigga about being on that bitch, dog. Yeah, like, of course. Look, yeah. I support black business, period. Like, yeah. nigga, I don't. You, you really never see me in. Name brand. I yeah. don't really wear name brand. It's like black designers. Hell yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? It's yeah, like yeah. any t shirt, either I made it or one of my people made Hell it yeah. or some shit I got introduced to. I support it. Yeah, for sure. All you got, like, I, I'm heavy on the CMOS now. I see my people making CMOS. Boom. Hell bam. Yeah. Uh, all my people got a rest, restaurant to eat at. Boom. I'm there. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. I support people to make dinners, clothes, um, yeah. studio, everything. And, yo, and y'all gotta stop complaining about the prices too Because if y'all gonna fuck around with them niggas you don't know Exactly Fuck with your people that you do know on that shit dog. You know what I'm saying and, that, and don't ask for no free shit Just go You know what I'm saying Man no discounts Don't yeah. do not discount me um, <laughs> With that being said I gotta I'm dropping my t-shirts today Yeah The High I'm Toxic I got the new logo right. I'm about to drop the new logo I'm gonna need y'all to follow me And I am Kev Jordan On Instagram Yeah You feel me So I'm about to drop that shit I got parties coming I got more lit ass trips coming. Yeah. So if y'all ain't scared, <laughs> y'all ain't scared to y'all, be toxic. Yeah, y'all shit too wild. I'm telling you, nigga. It ain't, no, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that. <laughs> look, cause all right, this last one we just had a married dude there. He ain't fuck with nobody, yeah. no, on that type of tip. Yeah, 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 but he yeah. had all the fun with yeah, us. Yeah, like, a good time. Went, yeah, you can have a good time with that. And with ho- with chicks. Zip you have lining, a good time. Yeah, zip good lining, time. all that shit, yeah. like swimming, like you know what I'm saying. We yeah. do, we do activities. So like when I say. It be lit like that. It be lit like that. It yeah, ain't yeah. Just, just dancing all yeah, the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, we yeah. had we had DJs in the fucking yeah, cabins. That shit dope. Like, that shit dope, dog. Man. Hell no. Nah. All right. So speaking of, uh, give me your, you talking about um, 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 owner um, foods and shit. Give me your top three food, dog. Yo, 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 go to nigga. Like, I didn't even, ooh, hold on. Let me like see. The, the three uh, shit you can't nigga go without because nigga chicken. <laughs> 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 Number one nigga on everybody. Chicken, lately tacos. I, tacos I've on everybody shit too. Heavy bro. on Taco Tuesday because I oh, yeah. I made a taco lasagna. Like I started cooking now, so yeah. I just made a stuffed salad. I mean, like I don't know, man. I I, <laughs> I like different palates, like because yeah. I'm allergic to shellfish. So yeah, even though I like shellfish, I can't eat it. Yeah, so I ain't gonna fuck around with it. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up swollen shit. So <laughs> I say 
either catfish or salmon. Yeah. That was like a tie. Um, pizza. Yeah. And chicken. Hell yeah, pizza. Dude. You can never go wrong pizza. Even though the cheese fucking my stomach up lately. But fuck it. It's all good. Damn, that was hard. I, I got so many other ones. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I've been eating like Chinese food, Indian food. Yeah, Chinese food. I just got to find me one on the west side. I know Chinese spot. I was going to this one shit. But they shit been kind of whack lately, dog. I, I fuck with I fuck with Thai food too. Bangkok. Yeah. 96. Yeah, okay, okay. Man. I got to get on that shit. Nigga be telling me about that Thai food be good as hell. I got to get I like I like spicy food. All right, dog. My last, last question High moment, drunk moment. Give me a funny story when you was one or both. Oh, it's a classic shit. Story, dog. <laughs> it's so many fucking moments, damn. <laughs> like, every moment is a fucking moment with me, dog. Yeah. Give me, give me that one that stick out, dog. Oh, shit, dog. Let me see. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hot. It won't even like it. It's not a high because it's more like an experience. Yeah. Um, and nobody ever heard this story except yeah. for the people that's close to me. Um, I took a mushroom. All right. <laughs> now, my 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 guy brother birthday slash engagement party. Okay. We already got leaders in Hennessy around. Yeah. Um. Everybody drinking Hennessy. Yeah. My dog come with it. He come with a mushroom. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, nigga, I ain't about to take that shit. Yeah. He asked me when I was sober, so I'm like, man, fuck that. You got me yeah. fucked up. <laughs> I don't smoke. Yeah. So they handed me a blunt. I smoked the blunt. Yeah. And once I got to that blunt, after that blunt, I stopped giving a fuck about anything <laughs> yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, fuck everything. I drank else. some more. And he was like, nigga, you show? I'm like, you know what? Fuck, because yeah. he called me out on you. He was like, nigga, you a pussy. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, like, Pussy, you nigga, got me shit. fucked up. Nigga, yeah, okay. watch this shit. Nigga, we took some. We took one. Then we took some that was in lemonade. Yeah. He mixed that shit up in lemonade. I drank the whole bitch. Duh. Then me and him got together in the truck because we went to go get another bottle. We went together. We went to the liquor store. And he was like, "You want to? You want to smash the rest of these bitches?" I want to say it's like a quarter left. Yeah. Mind you, you only supposed to take a gram. Yeah. Nigga. Duh. I said, I took that whole, we took that whole bitch. <laughs> he was like, nigga, just wait for it. It's about to settle in and you about to go crazy. I'm like, I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> I'm like, hell no, dog. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, why are these people around? He's like, yeah, you about, you about to be on some stupid shit. Ain't nobody going to understand what you're doing or what you, I'm about to go home. Yeah. I go home. Nigga, I get in my truck. I go home. Nigga, when I say I got close to my house, all the lights start doing some illuminating shit. <laughs> and it's like, like when motherfucker, when you see people on TV going out of space and you see all the lights just flash yeah. it's like that. Yeah. It's literally like that. And I'm thinking I'm going fast. I say, I look at the speedometer, that bitch say 20. Yeah. I'm like, oh, let me speed up. <laughs> Nigga, I go down my block. When I say I'm trying to do everything to let this high go down. Duh. I parked the car. Yeah. I run around the block. I'm talking <laughs> about, I got so much fucking energy, dog. Like, I got so much energy. I ran around the block. Yeah. I want to tire. I'm like, damn. This shit still, like, I'm still like, eh, nigga. So, I do push-ups on the porch looking goofy as shit. This is in December, nigga. Like, I do push-ups on the porch. I'm like, damn, this shit still ain't going. I make myself throw up. Still ain't gone. Yeah. I go to the gas station. The gas station right around the corner from my house. <laughs> I go to the gas station. I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to get some tea. Yeah. The caffeine woke the shit. Dog. 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 When I say, I was like, damn. <laughs> so I feel like my eyes popping. <laughs> I go in the house. My sister and them in the house. Her and her friends. I'm like, I just felt goofy as shit. I started roasting session, nigga. Like... <laughs> I'm talking about nigga got funny as shit off the bitches, nigga. <laughs> and I had them motherfuckers dying. I'm like, look, I'm high as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, and you doing hair in the kitchen and this bitch ain't got no hair. Duh. Like, Duh. what is you calling me? Like, I'm talking about I'm Duh. I'm going nuts. Like, Duh. Like, Duh. like, like, I'm talking about I try to I try to sleep the shit off when I say I try to go to sleep and I start seeing shit and it was like some rave music. Duh. 
I'm talking about I go to sell our hairs. Doom ticket, doom ticket, doom ticket, doom 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 I'm like, damn. Duh. And I was like, fuck, I'm just up. Yeah. Man, when I say this shit took an hour to go down, dog. God damn, dog. That's what shit. So how, how a mushroom? How do that bitch look? Though? Like what is it exactly? Look, it looked just like a fucking like, mushroom. Oh, for real? It it tastes horrible, but the feeling is great. Duh. I'm not doing that shit no more. But it was an amazing feeling. Duh, it was I, an experience. Cause my my oh uh, my my step brother he did that shit. I always want to see how that shit. Have you had mushroom before? I always want to see how that bitch feel. Like it I feel had, great. I had edible dog, and that shit took me. And that shit drove it's me different. crazy. Dog. It's different. It's different. Yeah, I want this. It worse or it's like no. Okay. No, you you. You'll be in full control of everything. But they say that you just don't overindulge. Is it true? They say that uh, they say that if you in a bad spot in your life, you shouldn't take it. I mean, if you want clarity, yeah. If you want clarity, yeah, it'll give you like. Uh, that's why I say it's more like an experience. It's not, it's not a high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it activate off your mood. Like I, I confronted all my demons already. So like you know what I'm saying. I didn't have no bad trip. Yeah, for sure. It was just a crazy fucking yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. started seeing happy shit like nigga. <laughs> but Duh. like if you if you in a bad place I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it unless you want answers or yeah. whatever cause it make you think Duh, it make you think and it be like it, it put you in a deep thinking shit like oh see yeah I can't be you can't be in no bad experience with your relationship if you're doing that shit then know. you be that bitch think about everything bad that she ain't did and shit though but like. no you gonna like your mood <laughs> your mood is gonna alter because you start laughing at shit like Damn, that's crazy. I was tripping over that. Why well, I'm tripping? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it works oh, like that. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, last time we talked and shit, dog, <laughs> before a podcast, you said, nigga, I want to rap, nigga. Oh, fuck it. I want to freestyle. Niggas be too scared. Do you you want to do acapella or you want to beat? I'll do acapella. Fuck it. Um. Hey. Because niggas, because, because, and then right now, I'm about to stop. I'm about to stop being pussy. Because I be, and we going we gonna to both stop being pussy, bro. If we ask a nigga, do you want to rap? And they say, no, we going to keep it. On camera, oh, we ain't gonna cut it out. Cause a lot of times, nigga, we had like two niggas who said they didn't want it, and we cut it out. Mm. But if niggas gonna, if, niggas, if you gonna have a couple niggas that, that want rap, that's what it is. You a rapper? Rap, huh? Yeah. Or you could just be like, or just be tr keep it true. Niggas gonna see on camera. Like for me, if niggas ask me, ask me, do I just do a written? I'll be like, or I'm gonna say, hey man, I ain't no, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even know how I freestyle, nigga. I just write my shit. Yeah. Or it'd be like, hey man, do you mind me read my shit off the motherfucking phone? <laughs> like one or two, dog. So well, that's what we gonna start doing. I'm gonna start being pussy. I'm gonna start asking, dog. You gotta call niggas out on and, that shit, and, dog. And they, and rappers gotta rap. Like, because I was gonna ask him, but then we was going back and forth on, on IG. He was like, nigga, hey, I'm gonna rap when I come on there. Hell yeah. So I'm like, all right, bet. I like, look, I love rapping. Yeah. Cause all right, this this the thing. Motherfuckers be scared to fuck up when they rapping. Yeah. It's it's a freestyle for a reason. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna fuck up. You might stumble on some words, but then you go but back. You get like, that shit back. That's like the one nigga was on that bitch, Nappy Devin. He he fucked up, went fucked up, went. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a straight freestyle. Uh, hey, dog did his thing at the motherfucking showcase. Oh yeah, he, he dope. So, yeah, he, he dope. He give me, fuck, he give me, a, he give me some outcast type of vibes. Like, yeah, he dope, dog. I, I was listening. I was like, oh, yeah, I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Shout out to Nappy, dog. So yeah, you the first person to go rap after him because niggas, I don't even be asking. I be like, man, fuck, I ain't asking nobody no more. But mm. nah, I'm gonna stop being a pussy ass nigga and just start asking niggas, dog. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start it over for me. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do this. I ain't think about uh, that. Okay. <laughs> Scared, Jordan. I'm the flyest around. Check my wings, son. Punch lines fast in the hip, man. Doing wing chun. Saw your eyes up, heavy looking like ching chun. Swiffing up the bottle of the wind. I punch out your lungs with different types. I give you hands, you'll get the gun. Till I grab the ratchet, fast your door. Jimmy get John, the revolver big on the barrel. I duck you calm, four four bulldog. I take a shit on your lawn. I dismantle you and disadvantage you. Toy with me, I put you on the back like the Santa do. Pass for a swag, put me on the put the cannon cruise. So I did to this winning shit. It's like I cannot lose. Daniel son couldn't catch fire like a real. Sensei, Dragon Ball Z style. I got the green then they Miss Amigo say it through no look and Tendre. Bruce Lee Roy style. I'm just growing with the glow face. Singles just drop. You heard it talking that shit. Instagram, I am Kev Jordan, little bitch. That chopstick put you on the ground like it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> you wanna get you wanna switch to that one too? Fuck you. What's that? 
I'm on my podcast shit. The niggas talking shit, nigga. I'm too quick with the flow. Nigga, this a freestyle. Niggas talking all that bullshit. These niggas so wild. What the fuck these niggas on? What the fuck these niggas talking? I be in the streets, motherfucker. I be walking. I got the whip, but these niggas wanna see me. Niggas talking all that bullshit. You can't be me. Podcast king, motherfuckers talking shit. Niggas talking shit, but your bitch can get this dick. What the fuck these niggas on? I'm in a different zone. Niggas talking all that shit, but niggas. Damn, I fucked up, but I'm coming back with the flow. Niggas talking all that shit, nigga. Niggas be slow. What the? I got a son, nigga. You got the daughter. Guess what? He gonna get that. <laughs> I had to do some Detroit shit. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Um, niggas think they be my ops because they mad at me. I don't internet beef, stop tagging me. How my bloods put you in the line bag, set you on the curb. You would think they really out here bagging leaves, nigga? Hey, shit be really disappointing. I get a nigga twisted like he double jointed. Nigga lying, say he be on a roll, huh? Nah, he was really doing unemployment. I ain't know niggas exist till they popped out. Pimple ass niggas really think they popping out. Cause if I pick it up and mess you up and drop you down, like an IG boomerang, how we spin the block and come back around? Niggas want me dead, how is that about? They was never on that shit when we be around. I would not beef with a nigga over a bitch that I fuck, let go, and damn near forgot about. <laughs> Pussy, niggas always want a stunt, man. To get thrown off the building like a stunt, man. I use a bean for precision, little fella. I, mm. <laughs> I ain't gotta hit a nigga with a 30. I got bitches geeked up off the 30s. I bag a bitch acting like Missy. Just to shut a little hoe, I was worth it. Had to shut a little hoe, I could work it. Put that thing down, flip that and reverse it. Now I had tied, laying across the bed like bang, bang, bang. Got the pussy murdered. Ooh! <laughs> and then, uh, Headbangers in it. Stop playing, nigga. Every day we be winning. Fuck that. I don't go to church. I be sinning. Nigga, I'm like the Grinch, nigga. I be grinning. Sinning. Hit you with the motherfucking milli. Shit, all I want is a motherfucking milli. Shit, fucking million views. I get viewed like a million. Shit, nigga, I'm trying to hit the ceiling. Money hit the ceiling. You know, you saw Blodo? Fuck it. I'm just trying to go to Mars. Blodo. Shit, get the motherfucking money back. Nigga, I clap my feet like Dorothy. Toto. <laughs> I mean, Tito. No, that's Jackson. Fuck that. Hey, my dad named Michael Jackson. Show you who the thrill is. Show you who the kill is. Motherfucking, it just ain't no. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. This, this freestyle shit gave me. Hold on. I gotta be in my zone zone. Alright. I go all day. I swear to God, I will. Red bandana in the motherfucking pants. Air Max 270. Every time I dance. Blood walk when I rock. <laughs> Blood walk when I rock. Hold on. Blood walk when I rock. Cross the motherfucking flow. You don't even see the motherfucking flow. I'm so high in the sky, I can't see the flow. I'm so high, nigga, you can't see my flow. It's crazy with it. 80s with it. Baby with it. I ain't the baby with it. I ain't hit your motherfucking uh, lady with it. You thought I was about to say it's the baby with it. I ain't killing kids, but I kill a nigga. <laughs> and I put one in his ribs. It's crazy, ain't it? I'm crazy tainted. I don't know though. I, 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 I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I, hey, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that. That's a straight little beat too, shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. You got me rap a little bit of shit. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that was, I'm hell. telling you, once I get in my zone for real, hell yeah. I will fucking rap all day. <laughs> so yeah, for y'all niggas, man, if y'all a rapper, man, I'm gonna ask and you're gonna respond and your response is gonna be on camera. That's how it's gonna be for y'all. And then, and then if y'all hit a freestyle better than the miles, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> At the end, I'm coming back. I'm slaughtering here, like who had the best uh, freestyle? Yeah. Oh no, don't put this on there, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't this. Freestyle. This is just some bullshit. I was just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. But shit, man, I appreciate you coming in this bitch. Damn, we we almost went, nigga. We, old school, nigga. Almost went two hours in this motherfucker, dog. I wasn't expecting that, but shit, it happens, nigga. We we got good conversation. That's when that shit go. So if my shit kind of low. You know, it wasn't no good conversation. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real, Ooh. dog. You got some, um, where can, where can people follow you with, dog? Where they can catch the music, all that shit. All right. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> follow me. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. I got my Facebook page up. Um, follow me at Kev Jordan. Uh, that's my music page. Mm. Follow me on IG at I am Kev Jordan. Follow me on Twitter. A big Henny Jordan. Okay. Or I got another page that's called uh, Henny Be My Condom. <laughs> um, that's funny as hell, dog. Um, for, all, for all my TikTok people, is Hi I'm Toxic 82. Yeah. 
Um, I got a website coming for my t-shirts and like all my merch. And it's about to be crazy. Like when I say we about to fuck the summer up, we about to fuck it all the way up. I got big ass parties coming. I'm going to need everybody to tap in. When I say pool parties, like theme parties, like um, not just regular parties. I'm, I am I do theme parties as far as like um, in August, I just I already just planned my birthday. Yeah. 80s versus 90s party. Big ass hall to be announced. Um, I got a couple people performing. It's like but all 90s, 80s, 90s music. Mm, uh, we playing tributes too. to DMX, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Cake's about to be crazy. I, already, I just got my, I just put an order in for my cake. <laughs> crazy, dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you want to tap in with my cabin trips or any type of trips that we, that we have, like big group trips, just tap in with me. I'm always put that shit in the flow on the flow, so I'm just need y'all to hit me up. But don't come and talk about what you can't do or <laughs> how much how much you can't spend none of that shit. Cause if you can't spend it, you don't need to be out there. That's <laughs> what yeah. I'm saying. Hell yeah, this um, ain't motherfucking. New music is on the way. Hennessy Files, the mixtape. Okay. Um, yeah. and we're putting pressure on them, dog. This year. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we big pressure this year. So. So I got a lot of fucking music coming out. I'm gonna need everybody to tap in. I'm gonna need y'all to share the shit. I just we just dropped a dog ass song, a club song. Mm. Hell, it's feel good music. Um, it's called Celebration. Yeah. Uh, me, Ace the God, Ramon Taylor, the Good Vibe. Um, it came off. Of, it came off of uh, that song I like. By guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, I'm talking massive. about all my ballroomers, hustlers. Y'all got y'all get that shit together. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I'm gonna need y'all to share that shit, like that shit, buy that shit. Um, what else I got coming? I got a lot of shit coming. I'm gonna just need y'all to tune in because I got. I'm dropping my shirts today. Like I said, hi, I'm toxic. Hey, I'm about to go to Cowboy man. Yeah. Hell so. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I believe. Yeah. Make sure y'all ta- y'all make sure y'all tap in with the homie man. Get the music. Get the merch. Tap in on all that shit, bro. Appreciate you any, bringing uh, me out here. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any positive words you want to leave the people with before you leave the? Um, never let people tell you what you can't do. Yeah. And whatever you doubt yourself from doing that you know you could do, do it. Yeah. Stop sure. fucking playing with yourself. Do that shit. Get it off your ass. Make that shit happen. I done fell down so many motherfucking times yeah. and got right back up and got right back on the motherfucking wheel. Listen, when I tell you I made, back in the day, I made over $100,000 yeah. and I went broke after that, but I'm back hustling. You can't you can't stop something that's already in you. Yo, yeah. Awaken that fire. Stay prayed up. Keep God first. Family, friends, value friendship. Yeah. Stop letting people go. You know what I'm saying? For everything that don't go your way, find another way. Yeah, Flat for up. sure. Hell yeah. I, I can't even come on no joking shit because you can't serious. You got to come on some joking shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Stay toxic. Yeah, hell yeah. And toxic ain't always a bad thing. Just to let y'all know. For sure, for sure, man. My shit, man, just, shit, just keep moving, keep grinding, keep doing you and shit, man. And, uh... Shit, man, if you got something you want to start, start that shit. Don't don't sit on the couch. Don't be that nigga on that uh that Everest commercial and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wake your dumb ass up, man. Shout out for everybody. Episode 67. Kel Jordan and this bitch. Yeah. Motherfucker, uh, 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 Q Lewis and shit. The 313. Myself, you know who I am. And um, the sponsor of the show, you know, Classic Pothead. You know what I'm saying? Classic Pothead.melt. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit, man. Holla at your boy. Yeah.